in Nocala or visit me at rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. I recently stopped by the Renewal by Anderson showroom right off Lee Road in Winter Park. And apart from the really impressive group of people that work there is the quality of the products. I couldn't believe how much noise was reduced by Renewal by Anderson windows and doors, especially being on busy Lee Road. That's because their windows and doors are built solid and yet so easy to open and close and clean. Renewal by Anderson is really a customer experience company. They just happen to sell windows and doors. In fact, Renewal by Anderson has the most five-star reviews, and their products are backed by some of the strongest warranties you will find. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the the month of March, buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC 1527613. The following is a promotion of Guarantee Media and not iHeart Media or this station. Attention, our friends from Guarantee Media are giving away a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included for only $99 to the first 50 listeners to tell me the name of a country without the letter A in its name. You know it? A country that doesn't have the letter A on its name and you'll go on a cruise to the Caribbean. Text your answer to 96551 and you'll get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included. You heard right. Be one of the first 50 to text the name of a country without the letter A in its name and you'll go on a five-day cruise. Text your answer to 96551. That's 96551. Be one of the first 50 listeners to tell me a country without Without the letter A in its name and get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals included for only $99. Text your answer to 96551. Text a country without the letter A in its name to 96551. This is not a contest. It is a paid advertising by Guarantee Media with the purpose of soliciting sales on vacation ownership and is not affiliated with iHeartMedia. Some terms and conditions apply. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Why should you hire the largest injury firm in the world for your injury case? Lots of people hired us. We've collected over $15 billion and won a lot. Morgan & Morgan, For the People. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. If it's time for you to get some new windows, reach out to Mike the Home Builder and his team of professionals at the Home Builders Network. Let me tell you what you will get when Mike takes care of you. Great quality windows, great installation, and great service, all for a fair price. What you won't get is a window company that moves into your house for three hours when they come in for the free estimate, pressuring you for the sale. Use someone local, someone you can trust. Go to myhomebuildersnetwork.com. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In office Orlando. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. The news junkie is on. The three best friends you never knew you had. Running through the most viral stories of the day. The news junkie Sean Wasson with Sabrina and c It is Tuesday, March 12th, 2024. Lots to get to today. From he was lying the whole time to a man says he discovered the fountain of youth and your car is leaking all your secrets. Plus your calls, dispatches, emails, texts, and more. Hey there, Sabrina. Hello. Hello, 
Sile. Hello. And I'll let you, you can join us on the show today. Just send us a dispatch. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now. You can also watch the show on YouTube and twitch.tv slash thenewsjunkie. Your message is rolling right into the studio in real time. And it is friends, they share the show Tuesday. Yeah! That means you share the show. All you have to do is hit that like button on the stream. Make sure you tell somebody about the News Junkie Radio Show today. Just all around spread the word about this show. Share, 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 share. And buy just okay tickets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be fantastic if you really up things by not only sharing the show, but also yeah. getting tickets. Share the show that's on Saturday. Yeah. yeah, that's great. That'd be real great. So do that for us. If you don't mind, go over to the newsjunkie.com for all the links you need to share today. All right, let's put our ears to the ground, our fingers on the pulse. Let's see what's happening in this great, big, wide world of ours. And here we go to the more music world. Remix. I didn't know what to call it. I was going to say to the world of music. Donald Trump just do that same little music world. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's not reusable. It's not like if you take Absolutely that and package is. it. You never <laughs> put know. It uh, we are going to learn a little something from said music world that I think was a shock to many, which is why it's uh, gone viral on TikTok this week. And that is uh, Shaggy, our friend Shaggy. Yeah, um, yeah. Who I think Celine even met in the building and nope. like refused. Was uh, that you? Was yeah, that you? It was me. I didn't let him in. Yeah, you yeah. didn't meet him. You didn't know who he was, and he was not <laughs> allowed to. He didn't get to his interview in time. Uh, uh, Shaggy's like, shirt? that's not my problem if he didn't get to the interview in time. It's whoever was bringing him in. Shaggy's like, you know, I want to go. How do you do his oh, voice? <laughs> no, please. <laughs> For the love of God, it wasn't continue. me. Uh, <laughs> take me to the third floor. I don't know how to do Shaggy's voice. <laughs> However, you do Shaggy's voice. Insert yeah, that here. Yeah, yeah. yeah hold Mr. on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, like it was his manager. It was some some like some chick that was talking to me, like and being a little like forceful about being let in. She didn't say she was with Shaggy. Uh -huh. Shaggy didn't uh, start off with like life was one big puddle of just <laughs> long, uh, you know. Then I would have been like, oh, Shaggy, come on in, man. Uh, <laughs> you don't even need a shag dog. Yeah, if, if he does that, it's either Stitch, like Sabrina said, or Shaggy. There's no questioning, <laughs> like, you know, I don't need identification. We're good. We can let you in right now. So, <laughs> I hate to tell you, he's been faking it the whole time. And, <laughs> uh, we knew that. No, no. I mean, to, Do you to think me, that's how he talks in real life? I, like, it was jarring, though, to hear the difference. Was, it, uh, I mean, was this like uh, the Chappelle skit? Where everything that a little John says that's not yeah or okay or what, he's like, mm -hmm. well, actually, um, <laughs> I have a long, extensive career in producing music and television. I saw this clip they're about to play, and uh -huh. the backstory is very interesting. Yeah, I, where I you got it from? I would have never put the those two together by any means. No, me too. I, I never would have thought that this was his inspiration, but here we go. Yeah, one time, Mr. Loma. Oh, yeah. But I got this voice by mocking ah! drill instructors in the military. Because in the Marines, the drill instructors would go, Hey, boy, drop and give me 20. Let's go, <laughs> boy. And I would mock him as a, as a form of joking. Because it, it motivated it you. It worked your, out, your didn't it? I just sang that song in that voice. Because, you know, that's... It sounded cool. It sounded cool, he okay. said. <laughs> we just started doing we... the voice. There you go, and now you're that guy, and boy, has he made some money off of that. Like, Absolutely. Shaggy's got to be, what well, he's got to have, like, what, 10 million bucks or something? Yeah, at least. More than that. Maybe, maybe more. Maybe more. All day. And uh, never forget, live action Little Mermaid. And uh, he played it, Sebastian. Oh, that's right. He was in the TV one, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah. the world is always glue now. <laughs> You're like really close All to chipmunk territory. So bad at it. Uh, Celia is closer than I am. I, I'm not even it's in the ballpark. Mm. All right, well, uh, it water me. <laughs> <Can't> <laughs> make it. I don't understand what you're channeling here. I it's can't like you're get being to it. squished by a slow press. It wasn't me. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Grab that clip. Now we need the remix. How fast can we flip it? I thought I was I was close. Now say, that, but... Mr. Lover Lover. Mr. Lover Lover. 
Mm. That one. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've done enough. We have enough. Thank you. I, it's like a chipmunk thing that, that has to happen there. It's and I don't. It's like you, know, it's, I, you have a ping pong ball in your throat. I was doing uh, Kermit the Frog the other day. Not literally, oh. but um, please. I was do doing it. the Thank impression you. of Kermit the Frog the other day, and Courtney's like, Whoa. "Y'all's She's four like, play is different." She, she goes, "You know, honey, you're you're very good at, at certain things, but uh, your your Kermit the Frog is just is not it's not very good." It's and not I was there, like, wow. bud. <laughs> "All right, fine, I'll leave it on the table. I'll just leave that behind." <laughs> Give you, she's giving you like a stay in your lane. Yeah, she's, she's like, just just so you know, don't don't try the Kermit the Frog thing, Sean. You're gonna really embarrass the hell out of yourself. And there we go. Oh, uh, that was fun. Please <laughs> share that. Uh, so that's what Shaggy really sounds like. And now you know on a Share the Show Tuesday. I do. I, I have a lot of respect for the answer that goes, I did it because it sounded cooler that way. Right. Like, yeah. Like, 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 what did you want Shaggy and he's to right. say? What did you want Shaggy to say? Uh, I did that because, you know, it was a... Uh, it was my take on the modern, uh, you know, I- indoctrination of the. No, it sounded cool. Right. He, wanted and- to, he wanted to make a song that sounds cool. It sounded cool. And guess what? It worked. Could you imagine if he went back and re recorded it? It's like, Mr. It wasn't lover, me. lover. Yeah. It, it, you know, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Like, if you just did this over and over, no one would listen to that song. It would be stupid. You'd be like, I like this little chipmunk dude. With the shaggy voice. That's the one that I like. I'm into that, not the other one. My the funny God. part about all the things that people attribute to Shaggy, it's mostly the lines that he doesn't sing. What Which ones? Mean? I don't think he sang it wasn't me. He did the verses. No. He did Yeah. That's not no. him. It wasn't me. No, it mm. is him. The guy, other guy that he's singing with is Southern Marks on my shoulder. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaggy's the one telling him to say it wasn't him. Yeah, but like. But yeah, that the, was the, it. That's the part oh my that, god! This is this is like the the uh, opera song thing all over again. That's what we we've yeah, run into have here. One thing each day. <laughs> that you're right. About? Screw you guys! I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's uh, get into some very important information for those of you who may be traveling anytime soon. I've never said this before in my life, but literally, I think for at least a little while, I don't have much of an interest in flying on Boeing planes. Okay, like just for right now, if you don't mind, I'm going to skip out on flying on the Boeing planes because have there been any um, I mean, this this would have to be a very recent thing because I don't remember there ever being like a filter option for what aircraft you're going to fly on whilst Mm -hmm. purchasing a plane tickets. Yeah, aren't most Boeings? There's a lot of no, Boeings out there. There's a lot of there. Airbus out there. I'm going to have to find those ones. I need the Airbus, and I need anything else that's not Boeing, because right now, i got to tell you, the one that, that is in the news today, and there was a little bit about this yesterday, I'll give you one of the passengers who was on the flight talking about the experience. It's just unbelievable. It was a Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner, and they said this thing suffered a quote-unquote technical problem that caused the plane to shake in a strong way. It was flying from Australia to New Zealand. It experienced a a strong shake during flight, the cause of which is currently under investigation. They said, uh, they keep saying strong movement, whatever all this means. So not turbulence, it feels different. Yeah, and they said when this happened, how about this? This is why I was like, nope, nope, sorry, let's take a little pause on Boeing's for a little while. The pilot said when this happened, all of the dashboard stuff, the lights went out and the dashboard stuff went off. Oh, uh, yeah. Then the, That's and then a... this happened. <laughs> and then, and then the, the lights just went up. The lights on the dashboard went back on. You know, I say dashboard is the, the cockpit thing. And then the plane like righted itself. Oh, okay. So, like when that happens to your dad's 1989 S10. You go, oh, it's, it's cool. It's got like a little thing it does. Every once in a while, like dashboard powers down and the brakes fail. But then it comes back. It's fine. Everything comes back and you're going to be all right. This is a 787. And they're like, hey, the, all the dash lights went out and the plane fell. I'm envisioning uh, uh, the, was it the Russian guy uh, on Armageddon? Didn't, mm-hmm. they, didn't they go pick up a Russian guy in space? Oh, it's been a while. Yeah. I don't know. I believe he, you, though. There, something was going wrong, and he just starts beating it with a stick. And is this is how we fix things in <laughs> Russian space station? You know, I like have uh, just hit it a few times. It'll come back to life. Fifty people were injured when this happened. Fifty people. Their heads hit the top of the plane, folks. Is there there's was footage. Like, uh, there's we some footage. The footage. Hang on, let me go back a little bit because there is some footage where they show inside the plane. I think this is Good Morning America talking oh, about horror this. Movie. 
This morning, new video from inside that plane, which shows what happened in the moments after this Boeing 787 Dreamliner suddenly plunged mid-flight, uprooting passengers from their seats, tossing them around Good the cabin. God. One awesome. passenger describing a scene reminiscent of The Exorcist, oh, as great. passengers who had removed their seat belts during the previously calm flight right. flew out of their seats, slamming their heads on the ceiling. Everyone All was right. terrified. Question to the two of you. Uh, and I, I, I hesitate to even ask this because this might just be more ammo for Sean to make fun of me uh, for how I uh, conduct myself on a plane. Mm-hmm. When the uh, fastened seatbelt light is off, do you guys, if you're just sitting there, like if you don't have to get up and go to the bathroom, do you keep your seatbelt fastened or do you, you, you like kind of you know, get oh. loose and you let it out? Uh, Man. I keep my seatbelt on mostly because I forgot. I know. I want to call him a pussy because he follows all the rules and, like, goes above and beyond to, like, not break rules on the planes. But I, I do the same thing as Sabrina. I forget that the seatbelt's on. And I don't know what I'm necessarily going to do that I need the seatbelt off. Like, when I'm on a plane, I, plane says your belts. answer. This is your answer right here. The, the, the fastened seatbelt light was, cl- light was clearly off. And the people who sat there with, uh, with a raw dog in it with no seatbelt on, their heads hit the, their heads hit the ceiling. Right, right. Yeah, the lesson learned for some of them, I would hope. But then there's these moments like this this fact that when there are plane crashes, uh, people who wear their seatbelts, mm-hmm. they get, um, you know, tossed out but with no shoes or pants on. Yes. And if I'm ever in a plane crash and my body is found, I'd like it to be fully clothed. That's true. If I'm going to be found like that, I, too, want to have some articles of clothing on. Let's see what this passenger says. There were people whimpering all over. Um, There were people injured all over. Another witness recounting it was similar to being at the top of a hill on a roller coaster and suddenly shooting all the way down with no warning. Awesome. This is just like the worst form of turbulence um, you could... You could think of so everyone just hits hits the um, the roof and falls to the ground. And my God, cool fedora, no, bro. thank you. He's got the he's got a flavor saver too. You know, yeah. right there. <laughs> like, uh, that guy. I I don't know if I could fly after that for a little while. That's tough stuff right there. Fifty injured on a Boeing seventy eighty eighty seven. For me, I'm gonna put a little pause on the Boeings until you can like keep them together. All right, this guy on the texting service says, "I don't understand the point of a seatbelt. A little airplane crash. If it goes down, everybody dies." The thing I just said, man, Mm -hmm. the thing I just said, where if the airplane is not, not everybody dies, but it takes a little, a little tumble, it takes a little fall, a couple hundred, maybe a thousand feet, and then writes itself, everybody on that plane that wasn't wearing their seatbelt, they got their head smashed into the ceiling. This is this is exhibit A for your argument, actually, right? Yeah. Here. It couldn't be any clearer, I don't think. Okay, we've got uh, an email to get to, which uh, says, I am totally wrong about something that we Ooh, talked about on I the show these. recently. Also, uh, when we come back, I want to tell you something more about flying, where one time a guy next to me said, uh, the last flight I was on, I almost died. And then he began to tell me his story about seatbelts, and I'll give you the details on that. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Someday, Alexa will do everything. <sighs> Alexa, can you unclog the toilet? Yeah, I'm kind of busy right now. But until then, just tell her to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. Playing Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's a bit of commotion to watch out for. The off-ramp from I-4 westbound to Sand Lake Road is partially blocked. The on-ramp from Lee Road to I-4 westbound is partially blocked as well. And on Florida's Turnpike southbound between Williams Road and Canoe Creek Road, the right lane is blocked due to an accident. Travel with caution through there. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. $5 finger licking deals are back at your local KFC. Choose from three delicious options. A two-piece meal with a drum, thigh and buttery biscuit side, and eight-piece chicken nuggets or two chicken little sandwiches. Only available at select participating locations, not online. Tax extra, it's finger licking good. Today's Central Florida job market is more competitive than ever. But don't be discouraged. Attend the Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, Wednesday, March 13th, from noon to 4 p.m. at the Orlando Science Center. 
and connect with over 70 recruiters right here in Central Florida. Some even offering on-the-spot interviews. Your next career is right in front of you. Join us at the Florida Jobs Now Job Fair on Wednesday, March 13th from noon to 4 p.m. at the Orlando Science Center, 777 East Princeton Street, Orlando, Florida, 32803. That's from noon to 4 p.m. More information at fljobsnow.com. Tools Ace Hardware carries the best brands in grills from Weber, Big Green Egg, Trigger, and Napoleon. They also have pizza ovens from Uni and Gosney. And make sure everyone has a place to sit with outdoor furniture from Pollywood. And now they have a service technician specializing in grills to help with any repair or warranty issues. Get free assembly and local delivery on any backyard purchase, $3.99 and up. It's Tools Ace, 13 convenient locations in Central Florida, including their new store in Hamlin, just open. Or you can shop online at acehardware.com. Get that free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local helpful place. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. In Office Orlando. The construction services industry is booming. Find out if it's a fit for you on Saturday, March 23rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Register at kalosflorida.com slash jobs or text 352-243-7099. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Hi, I'm Chef Justin Timnery, Florida's culinary ambassador. If you've enjoyed preparing fresh from Florida recipes, then you're going to love the Fresh from Florida Club. As a member, you'll be able to search and save delicious recipes, create custom menus, and ask me your cooking questions. Each month, you'll also get a list of what's in season, so you can make your family the freshest meals possible. It's free and easy to sign up. And best of all, you'll be supporting Florida's farmers, ranchers, and fishermen. Join the club at freshfromflorida.com today. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. 
Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier Factory Authorized Dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. If you love sports and scandal, then join me, ESPN broadcaster Jay Harris, each week for Playing Dirty Sports Scandals, the newest podcast from executive producer Dan Patrick. From current scandals like MMA champ Cain Velasquez armed car chase to historic shockers like the biggest Little League cheat, playing dirty sports scandals doesn't shy away from dark details and always packs a punch. Never miss the dirt, people. Listen to Playing Dirty Sports Scandals on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. High diving face first into the world's most viral newsroom. And he says, wow, Boeing isn't playing around anymore. And he sends a link to a story that I saw earlier today over on the BBC's website. And, you know, just on the heels of this whole Boeing planes are not doing so well, what with the flying and all, uh, you see the story and it says Boeing whistleblower John Barnett found dead in the United States. A former Boeing employee known for raising concerns about the firm's production standards uh, has been found dead in the United States. He worked for Boeing for 32 years until his retirement in 2017. In the days before his death, he had been giving the evidence in a whistleblower lawsuit against the company. And then all of a sudden, he's unalived, you know, just like that. And, of course, that prompts conspiracy theories. So, I mean, why would it not? Nah. Uh, I mean, it's a little fishy. It's a little epstein -y. It's a little, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's a little frightening, I think, to say the very, very least. And um, let's see what else it says. says in, um, Mr. Barnett had worked for the U.S. plane giant for 32 years until his retirement. Yep. He also said he had covered serious problems with oxygen systems. That could mean nobody in four breathing masks. All right. One in four breathing masks would not work in an emergency. Yada, yada, yada. So I guess he was uh, found dead, and they're saying it was like, you know, uh, suicide or something, right? Um, hold on. Self-inflicted, I mean, self, Self-inflicted yeah. wound, yeah, that's what they said. Self-inflicted wound, according to police, 62-year-old whistleblower for Boeing, and just very, very weird. I don't know. You know, I'm not, I'm not a conspiracy guy, but just very, very strange stuff. I'm a little, a little bit wary about Boeing uh, products at the moment here. Tips of the news, junkie.com, and our friend Hollywood Brad emails. Oh, nice guy. He says, right in the subject, he's uh, not in agreement with me, Alec Baldwin should go to jail, he says. Uh, he says, hey, Sean, I'm listening to you talk about the Rust shooting, saying that Alec Baldwin shouldn't go to jail for shooting Helena Hutchins. I very much disagree for a few reasons. The first thing is it's standard operating procedure that an actor never aims a gun at a crew member. And it's actually pretty rare that an actor aims a gun at another actor. The way we shoot these scenes, we make it look like they're aiming at each other, but it's very, very rare that we are. Baldwin knows this and did it anyway. If there is no avoiding aiming at the gun or the gun at a crew member, they'll put up plexiglass in front of the crew member and make other safety precautions to protect the person. Obviously, this wouldn't have helped on Russ since it was a real bullet, but that gun should have never been aimed where Baldwin aimed it, even if somebody told him to do it. He knows better, and so does everybody on that set. The last layer of protection is the armor, whose job it is to step in and stop it when actors do dangerous things. But the bozo they hired wasn't even on set when this happened. And so Brad makes the argument that Alec Baldwin should go to jail because Alec Baldwin shouldn't have pointed this gun at anybody. I think it should be just the flat-out thing on a set that you never, ever, 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 ever have live ammunition. I think you it already never, is. Yeah, I don't think you, you never have live ammunition. And, and there, that, What's I think, the point is, of having it there? Truly. Yeah, you don't need it. You're not using it for anything. You might use a blank. You might use you know, some other dummy rounds or something so that if, if it's a revolver, you can see the bullet or whatever. But 
you'd never ever need a live round in there. And why was a live round in the gun is the question. It's not like, so it would be like if you, um, if you had a little kid, all right. And the little kid had a toy gun and the little kid was like taking the toy gun and pointing it around the room. And all of a sudden when the little kid pulled the trigger, he fired and a real bullet came out and he shot his mom. And you're like, son of a bitch. That's weird. Now, that little kid should have never been a aiming. a toy gun, very efficient <laughs> toy gun. <laughs> that little kid should have never been aiming that gun at the kid. No, nobody would think that way or at his mom. Nobody would ever think the little kid should have been aiming the gun at, at his mom. They would have thought the gun should have never fired because it's a toy gun. It's not supposed to be something you would ever be scared of. So that's where I'm coming from. I don't think Alec Baldwin knowingly did anything wrong here. I think he was trying to make a movie and uh, this is just a horrible, horrible accident. So I don't necessarily think when there's terrible accidents like that, you'll need somebody to, to go to jail as a punishment always. Obviously, this wouldn't happen to, on Russ, Russ because it was a real bullet. A gun should have never been aimed where it was, blah, blah, blah. The second thing he shouldn't have done is pulled the trigger. He claims he didn't, but experts say he had to have pulled it because the gun did not malfunction. And third, as one of the producers on the film, he should have hired an armorer that knew what they were doing instead of the person who would do the job for the least amount of money. That does appear to be what they did. They were they were real, real skimpy in how much money they were paying people for safety on the set of this Rust movie. Safety had already been a huge issue on that set, and most of the camera crew had quit because of it. But the producers obviously did nothing to make safety a higher priority. And for that, I personally think all the producers should be charged for negligence or something similar. Their hiring practices were the cause of this accident. This situation makes my blood boil, says Hollywood Brad, because we work with guns on sets all the time very safely. And this bunch of idiots managed to get two people shot and one killed and I suspect a lot had to do with Alec Baldwin thinking he was above it all. Wow. What do you think? Let us know. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Send us your dispatch right now. Uh, the oh, who, who was that? That was not me. What? I'm not taking wow, credit for Sean, that. Wow, Sean, what the that hell, That was man. not me. That was clearly C-Lane. Was... <laughs> what happened? Uh, that was a burp, not a fart, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, I just want to be clear. Just clarify since we got it out there. Uh, the Oscars. You know that most butts are not mic'd up, right? I would have to be a pretty uh, significant. My butt is, for sure. Okay. Uh, well, I think that. I believe in you, and I think that your butt can make a noise loud enough to get to that <laughs> microphone. Thank you. I Thank think you, Sean. I believe that that could happen. The Oscars were the most watched telecast in four years for the award show. Not bad. 19.5 million people watched. That's like a pretty good audience in terms of broadcast television. I reread the article about uh, the memoriam thing that people were pissed about. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a part of it, and I guess I, it didn't even really occur to me while watching it, because I thought it was, I thought it was just fine. Yeah, me too. Um, I, I didn't think, you know, like it was super tone deaf. Um, but I think a lot of people that complained were complaining about the interpretive dance. Oh, okay. why? That's perfect for funerals. Yeah. I mean, it's just like an art choice that they made. I didn't think it, like when I was watching it, I would have had to have been looking for something to be upset by. Like, I also saw that there was another actor who unfortunately had passed away in the last year. And he, uh, there was articles like, how could they do this to him? How could they do this to this actor? And it, their complaint was that, they mentioned him, but they mentioned him at the end with other people's names around his. Like, his name didn't get its own time on the screen. Who was it? I, somebody I hadn't heard of, honestly. Was it Treat Williams? Exactly. Maybe. I don't know. Was like, he, yeah. was, he was one of the ones that they said got snubbed. And I was like, yeah. was he even in a lot of movies? He was but in they TV guy, shows. They, they said the guy got snubbed, but the, his name was on the screen. It just wasn't like... The bigger star that you are, the more people who are aware of you, the more time you get in those in memoriams, I think. I don't, I don't know. It's like everybody's just looking for something to be pissed off about. I find it not the greatest way to live life. But 19.5 million people were tuned in and watching. That's up from 18.76 million. That's got to be the big one now, huh? The Oscars is like the, the, the show that people are still watching, the award show that people still tune into. And then Al Pacino happened. Al Pacino, he goes up there and uh, here's the winner. My <laughs> eyes is see Oppenheimer. <laughs> That's right. He didn't even say, here's the winner. He said, my eyes see Oppenheimer. Uh, okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel hosted and obviously did a good job because people keep coming in to watch the guy. The show. Pitching about him. Yeah. Oh, no, no, they were pitching about him. Oh. They, they, I saw one article this morning pitching a little bit about that. They were like, he was told not to read Trump's 
uh, truth that he posted during the telecast, and he did it anyways. And I'm like, okay, oh. that's that's cool. I like that. Rebel. Uh, why why would I not why would I not like that? All right, no matter what, unless uh, politically, I was like, ah. A lot of people don't like Jimmy Kimmel because of politics, and I think uh, Trump did break him a little bit. Like he's really, 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 really like that's like so much of the monologue. Whenever I see stuff, uh, it's all about that. But uh, he, clearly, he's doing a good job because otherwise, you wouldn't have almost twenty million people tuning in when he's like the de facto host of the Oscars. Now, he's the guy who's been doing it a lot. I think he's I, maybe hosted more than anybody else. He's like no, he's always on uh, there. Billy Crystal probably has the. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he, he the, used to be Mister Oscars. Man in so long. What's yeah. up with what, Billy? Yeah, what, what is Billy Crystal doing these days besides uh, Monsters Incorporated? Right. What that. Does it mean? Anyways, they have 19.5 million viewers. That's very, very impressive. Good numbers there for. Oh, for oh. everyone. <laughs> and this He's is the part. Them. Oh, right. There you are. Uh, uh oh. You disappeared for out? a second, but uh, I finished right. your sentence, I think. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, anyhow, whatever it was, it was uh, a good telecast because a lot of people tuned in, or at least people were interested in seeing what was going on. We want to hear from you. Send us a dispatch. Go to the newsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. Let's see. Should we work one in real quick? Yeah, uh, work it in. Uh, all right. Missy wants to talk about Sea Lane. Let's see what Missy says. Sea Lane doesn't always follow the plane rules. Have you ever heard of a little thing called airplane mode? Airplane mode. Yeah. Got him. Was no, that a does child? That, though. that was the whole that was the whole point of the discussion was that I apparently am the only one that puts my phone in airplane mode. At least out of us. But maybe yeah. Missy's daughter, that's who was sent the dispatch in, maybe she also does this. I don't know. He follows all the rules, Missy and Missy's daughter. Not all uh, of them. He does. He's Not like, all guys, of them. we can't do this. No, there oh, is well. one he doesn't. <clears throat> you know what? He does have that shampoo bottle for the <clears throat> mid flight wash. That's even more weird that you follow some rules to the T and then other rules you're like, eh, drink on the plane. I uh, bring my own alcohol with me. <laughs> There's certain rules he doesn't mind breaking quite as much or downloading content online. It's not you know, even, uh, I don't do that that much anymore. Uh -huh. uh, it's not even about uh, doing it because it's a rule. It's just, I just do it to do it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. You I've, do you, man. I've given you my, Whoa. my, uh, my reason. All right. I feel comfortable with them. Bring it up anymore. Thank you. <laughs> well, you can bring it up. <laughs> Quick break. When we come back, a you woman want to just sound like a bully all the time. <laughs> you just bring it up. <laughs> bring it up. It's fine. Yeah, bro. Hey, well, come on. First of all, if you want to get to bullying, there's an audio library that's larger than anything on planet Earth in terms of storing digital audio of you two taking things that I've said out of context. Do you feel and bullied, Sean? Yes. Okay, then go reach out to HR. Some of them are funny, so they're very I funny, and they and they bring part. joy yeah, to the people. No, 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 no. no. That, that's a great idea, Sabrina. Reach out to HR, so we have be on so hold they force for us. Minutes. They force us to send <laughs> clips of you going. It's tough to be a pedophile. <laughs> no, that's not what I said. Someone grab that. Why did you talk over <laughs> oh, it? What damn, did I go with you? I don't. I'm not. Uh, you, I don't it. think like you guys do. Unfortunately, damn it. Yeah, I. The that's thing that hurts my feelings. The thing that hurts my feelings the most is that Courtney will go around the house and do those <laughs> sound effects. I'm like, a vampire. Yes, yes. She literally would do that. What if there's somebody on the screen that is like a vampire? What, just, what's the one of me that you guys used to walk around and do? Uh, it's not uh, bad. That was so yeah. That's not bad. That's not bad. That was, that was a good, I like that. All right, quick break. Uh, oh, no, you know what? Let's play one more real quick. Here's oh, Dingo. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Talking about Mr. Lover. Good morning, News Junkie. Hey, I got to chime in a little bit about Shaggy. I knew that that guy was in the Marine Corps, but I had no idea he was just mocking drill instructors. That's hilarious. As a fellow jarhead, that is a choice move. Boo. Same buddy, Semper Fi, uh, right back at you from a fellow Marine. Sean, team. what? No, uh, yeah, like, uh -uh. okay, stolen uh, valor. Stolen valor all what? Oh, what's wrong? My with you? father was in the U.S. Marines. That does not and mean you were in the U.S. Marines. It passes down. It's, it's a not. thing. Yes, my. It says there's a saying. Father a Marine, always a Marine. No. That they say in the U.S. Armed They're Forces. Pass That's down right. an ass whooping to you, man. Yay. So I want to thank everybody. Uh, and you can thank me for my service today if you'd like to do that. Uh, like that, that car. I, do you see the, the car? Oh, my God. I don't know if I showed this to you guys. Hold on. Aye, 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 Bobby. <laughs> Let me see if I can find this real quick. I might have to take a break. But um, there was 
a car that I saw in the parking lot when we were out this past weekend. And oh yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I I don't know. Yeah, it, it was just like a random parking lot that we pulled into. Courtney and I. Okay, I know where I could bring it up. Wasn't the place you were going just pulling a random parking lots? Yeah, they uh, like to do that. <laughs> like I don't know why gra- we're... Graveyards and different parking lots. Just oh, we, we we stopped because there was a liquor store. Uh, oh, we stopped at the go. liquor store, which now sounds pretty bad. you're back to being a normal person. <laughs> no, but uh, I took a photo of this car. Here it is right here for those of you who are watching on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, I'll put it up on CNF for everybody oh, else. Oh, these are my favorite. Random car parked in the parking lot, and it says... Honk for all veterans. Thank you for our freedom. Three exclamation points. I can't believe and, you put the license plate, bro. And when I, I uh, people get so upset. When I saw this, I thought, do you think, am I to pull from somebody who has on the back of their vehicle, honk for all veterans. Thank you for our freedom. Is that person a veteran? I don't think so. I also could see them maybe like serving some time. And then because that's what how they live their life, or they wear like they found a hat of goodwill, and they kind of they might that might be stolen valor right there. I like does this Getting person just hunks? love love the United States and the United States military so much that they want all the other people to honk for all the veterans, or are they a veteran too and they want one of the honks for them? I, I'm trying to understand the motivation here. Uh, let me know. Uh, go over to the newsjunkie.com and send us a dispatch with your thoughts. Uh, we got to get to this uh, person who learned that they were fired in the most awkward way during a press conference. It was during a press conference they learned that they no longer had a job. What's going on? We'll get to that. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Hey, Central Florida, I'm Fox 35. Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Tuesday. And we're in for another beautiful day across Central Florida. Temperatures will climb into the upper 70s and low 80s under a sunny sky. Clouds will increase a bit for our Wednesday with a few afternoon sprinkles and very light showers. Only a 20% chance of those. We'll warm into the mid 80s through the end of the week. A high of 88 for Saturday and 90 for Sunday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Marco's Pizza. Try Marco's new cheesy Melty Pizzoli for free when you purchase one large or extra large menu price pizza. One free fully loaded handheld Pizzoli with your Marco's Pizza. Order this slam dunk deal before the clock runs out. Limited time only. Limit to per order. See store or marcos.com for details. Folks, Mills Air has been around for a while. In fact, since 1992. That's over 30 years, 32 years and counting. Helping people just like you out. They are the hopefully very proud sponsor of Just OK 8 that's coming up on this Saturday. And they're a company that I just love to tell people about because I know you're in good hands. There's a couple of uh, companies that I know if I recommend them to somebody, they're going to be happy with their experience. And they're going to be happy that I told them about this because there's a lot of these AC companies out there that will take advantage of you and your lack of knowledge about your HVAC system at your house. And right now, as spring starts to kick in, right now in this final little stretch of a little bit cooler weather, it's the perfect time to call Mills Air for preventative maintenance that can save you money and detect an upcoming breakdown. Get that peace of mind. 407-277-1159. They are a carrier factory authorized dealer and get you rebates up to $1,275 for a brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier and you can always turn to Mills Air. 407-277-1159 or MillsAir.com. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season, you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a Samsung Galaxy A14 included when you buy an extended Silver Unlimited plan. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. Online only. Family plan discount with four lines all on the Silver Unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the million-dollar protection package. 
which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. The following is a promotion of Guarantee Media and not iHeart Media or this station. Attention, our friends from Guarantee Media are giving away a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included for only $99 to the first 50 listeners to tell me the name of a country without the letter A in its name. You know it, a country that doesn't have the letter A on its name and you'll go on a cruise to the Caribbean. Text your answer to 96551 and you'll get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included. You heard right, be one of the first 50 to text the name of a country without the letter A in its name, and you'll go on a five-day cruise. Text your answer to 96551. That's 96551. Be one of the first 50 listeners to tell me a country without the letter A in its name and get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals included for only $99. Text your answer to 96551. Text a country without the letter A in its name to 96551. This is not a contest. It is a paid advertising by Guarantee Media with the purpose of soliciting sales on vacation ownership and is not affiliated with iHeartMedia. Some terms and conditions apply. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations like 24-7 Comedy. If they were really donut holes, the bag would be empty. When you need to laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. Should we call someone? I'm like, no, that's his face. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Save time and money with a wood fence in a box from Fence Outlet. It comes with everything you need for an average backyard of 120 feet starting at $13.95. Go to FenceOutlet.com today for more information and store locations. License number C10252 and C10803. Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. 800-919-3200. finger licking deals are back at your local KFC. Choose from three delicious options. A two-piece meal with a drum, thigh and buttery biscuit side, an eight-piece chicken nuggets, or two chicken little sandwiches. Only available at select participating locations, not online. Tax extra. It's finger licking good. Find your new career. The Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, March 13th at the Orlando Science Center. More info at fljobsnow.com. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine accident attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. On the bright side, we're not dead yet. You're listening. Pretty simple. It just says Kimmel sucks donkey D. And that's All it. Right. Just right to the point. Uh, that's what I was talking about. This like, Is that the, the subject line? Or? Yeah, yeah. And is, like the, a, is there a body? No, the body contains no text. You know? oh, okay. it's just just right to the point in the subject line. And that's what happens when it gets like political people would just be like, ah, rage. I hate that guy. And people not only feel that way about Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, Kimmel but they also feel that way about Alec Baldwin, who we were, talk- uh, we were talking about before. People really hate Alec Baldwin. And right now, one of the problems that we have is so many of you are such pussies. All right? I'm going to just say that flat out at risk of hurting your feelings. You need to engage in a little more self-criticism and find a thicker skin to wear around each day. Your skin suit's a little too thin for my liking. And that is... So many people right now are like, there's a person who I disagree with politically. They don't agree with everything that I agree with, or even like some things they don't agree with me politically. 
I want that person to go to jail. <laughs> this is like the weirdest belief to hold in my estimation, because I'm like, do I like Alec Baldwin? Ah, that's kind of a complicated question. I like Alec Baldwin in 30 Rock. I oh, yeah. don't seem to care for Alec Baldwin as a person. Like when I'm watching interviews with Alec Baldwin, I don't care about him. But I like some of the things that he's created, and he makes me laugh. And when I watch 30 Rock and his character there, um, do I like his politics? No, I think, but I'm not surprised by them. He's Let a Manhattan. At 6 p.m., what am I, a farmer? <laughs> he's, he's a Manhattanite who has the most predictable New York City uh, progressive politics that anybody could ever expect. So I don't agree with his political takes, but I also wouldn't look at somebody and go, I don't agree with them. I want them to go to jail. And so many people are super okay with that right now. That's like, I, I get very, very worried about that. Uh, Tammy on YouTube says, Alec Baldwin does not like you, Watson. Uh, no, I think he blocked me. Did he block me? I never remember. There's like a list of people who get real sensitive when I tweet them. Just get a little bit steamy in a tweet, a little bit spicy, and then like, block. Same thing. But just because they're dumb doesn't mean you have to be dumb. You don't have to resign to being stupid your whole life and being weak your whole life just because everybody else is right. I think toughen up a little bit and be able to disagree with people right now, though, we need to talk about this because Miami said no folks and no means no. Yet the spring breakers are still invading Florida spring, nice. right. and they're still hitting the beaches of Fort I told you, Miami. I, I told you that this was going to be one of those life finds away. Mm -hmm. kind of deals. Can I tell you something? I mean, this, I mean this with everything in me. When I look at these parties on the beach, and you can old man river me and all those things. And in Sean, day. I see nothing desirable about these parties that they show during spring break on the beach in South Florida. In what see, sense? What do they show? Like, it's people crowded into the beach. Like, and there's people everywhere around you on the beach. Well, that's like and, those old, back in the day with the TRL. Yeah, mm -hmm. pool parties. Yep. You just see it, it's like everyone's in the same pool. Yeah. All Too many sardined people. in there. So much pee pee. A lot of like big gaggles of people, a lot of noise, a lot of people like right on the verge of fighting at all times and then fighting and brawling on the beach and then everybody's like uh, just out there on display. When I think about going to the beach, maybe I'm different than you. Maybe we're the same. We'll see. Send me a dispatch at thenewsjunkie.com so you can communicate. I, I like to, to be as me. close to everybody else at the beach as possible. No. No, I want to be like on a beach with like space and sand around me. And like I, I can think of a great example, which is Hope Town of the Bahamas, which we all went to together. And when I think about being on that beach, the sand is so soft. There's barely anybody out there around you. They go, go out there and snorkel. There's fish everywhere. And you go, yeah, really is there? And you put your head underwater. It's like a, the greatest tropical fish tank you've ever seen in your life. And it's just gorgeous. And then I think about this. And this is like a beach that is uh, just completely full of used vape cartridges and yeah. vapes on the ground. Condoms. There's condoms. There's there's people everywhere. There's noise, just noise of humans, just a gaggle of them here and a gaggle of them there. And it's the least attractive thing to me in the world. But I guess that's because I'm not finding or I'm not trying to find somebody to bang tonight. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think if you're in the meat market, that's what you like because you're like, yeah, all these people are around us. We're all like getting drunk and lowering our inhibitions. And we're all partying on the beach and bikinis and thongs everywhere as far as the eye can see. And I'm like, oh, there's probably beer bottle glass and the sand over there. And oh, no, man. Vomit. Do vomit for sure. Yes. Right? There's vomit everywhere. And there's people just drunk and screaming weird stuff. And I, maybe I'm getting older. But to oh, me, you they're. absolutely are, bud. Attractability level of that scene, spring break on the beach, 2% out of 100. 2% for me. Uh, tell me what you think. It says thousands of spring breakers cut loose as they hit the Florida sands. You're so lucky right now, New York. You're so lucky right now, Texas. You're so lucky right now, your state. Insert your state here. Groups of bikini-clad girls and jeering guys flock to the packed out Fort Lauderdale Beach, oh, where yeah. women can be seen fighting each other in front of frat bros in booze-fueled wrestling matches 
which sometimes <laughs> turned violent. They said Miami Beach was full despite $100 parking fees and bar closures at 6 p.m. and all the other rules that they put in place. Uh, much of the party has moved, though, about 45 minutes north to Fort Lauderdale, where authorities appear to be slightly more uh, relaxed, but you still got all that nonsense. Oof, God, no thank you. Oh, man. Don't want it. Speaking of vomit, uh, over the weekend. Uh, you going to okay, do it right now? Here we no, go. no. I will. Over the weekend, uh, the wife and I, we were taking the, taking the boy to the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. And so we were on our way there, and I, I kept I noticed that like a couple times, the jeep in front of me, the driver kept opening his door and spitting out the you know out the door. Gross. And like the Can't even do it out the window. The, fir the first time, <laughs> like the first time, you know, you you don't really notice it. It almost doesn't register. But like the second or third time, I was like, I think this guy is doing more than spitting. I think this guy is throwing up. Like this yeah. dude is this dude is violently hung over. By the way, this is about one in the afternoon. Uh -huh. Maybe maybe closer to two. Hey, Sean did it what at seven o'clock in the morning one time? Yeah, but that's the morning. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the morning. And this 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 dude finally uh the cause traffic was moving kind of slow because you're in that that area where the, the farmers market is and everybody's trying to find parking. Mm -hmm. and, and he finally just turned off into like a condo area like parking and ashley's like don't don't keep going stop i want to see oh. <laughs> i love ashley so much the dude, the dude the threw, well, uh, she, uh, she threw it in park and he gets out and then he kind of keels over and just starts vomiting and ashley's like i'm sorry i said that i don't want to see keep going go 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 <laughs> oh i see so she wants to view life as a reality show until it gets real yeah. Exactly. Right in front of you, are like, oh, my God, that man is projectile vomiting right now. He, he was and doing so something. I. It's not a good time. That's not a good <laughs> feeling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right there. A little bit of that. Uh, that. By the way, that that car that said honk for all veterans, thank you for our freedom. People were pointing out that the license plate is like a veteran's license plate on that. Oh, I didn't and, even look at that. Hang on, let me see. Let's uh, see. Honk well, thank you for your for service, then. all veterans. I put this up on See It Now so you could take a look at what we were talking about since it's a visual, as always. And uh, the people were saying that that was a veteran. If so, I think that's just as weird as that dude who's like a hobo. Oh, it says downtown. disabled veteran on the license Does plate. Does it? Yeah. Oh, God, he's going to make it even more difficult Come for on. me. <laughs> Still stand by my take. It's like that guy who, who confronted me downtown. It's like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. He's a hobo with a shirt off, and he goes, thank me for my service. And I'm like, what, dude? I, 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 he wasn't, like, holding the door open for me. Did was, you just it, get was... an HJ from him, though? No, 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 no. no. He, was, he oh, just God. wanted me to, wrong, wrong to thank him for his time spent in the U.S. military. And I don't do that um, prompted. I'm not going to do that. Now, I do thank veterans, and I'm glad that there are people who are willing to fight for this country. And some of you... Our heroes, right? Some of you just peeling potatoes and stuff. I mean, it's oh. not that big of a deal, right? Like, some of you are just filing office work and, like, paperwork. Okay, but if there was no one to peel potatoes, then no one would... Uh, they have to feed is, the uh, heroes. Exactly. Ipso yeah, facto. Okay, so if we put them on the 100% meter, the person in Fallujah who's dodging IEDs and gassing out the Mujahideen, that person's 100 on the hero list. The person who's, like, peeling potatoes or is, like, in you know, uh, Sacramento in some like office building or is in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, flying a drone from uh, different miles away or from a million miles away. Those those people are they're different levels of hero, I think. What do you? What, right. what, That's what, your take. <laughs> I got nothing. Oh, you think everybody in the military no. is the same level of hero? I think of course, there's, there's I think still there's... a service, still go through boot camp. There's still uh, something that they've done for this country, and you're not a hero for going through boot getting, camp. You're still getting a, a paycheck from uh, the military, so you are part. Uh, and have they done should your be service. thanking me for that if they're getting a paycheck from the military. What you know what I'm saying? Yeah, paycheck that's true. From the military. No, I'm the one paying the paycheck. That's where they're getting this from. It's not magic money. Somebody's got to pay that. Bear of Bad News says, I disagree with Sean. Well, send me a dispatch. Tell me why you disagree. Here's what I'm saying. Let me put it out. Don't, don't attack some fictitious version of what you think my take is. My take is that there's different layers 
of heroes in the military and the ones who are out there on the front lines who are fighting got weapons and they're facing down their fears and facing death those people are heroes they're amazing right uh, then there's some people who like just uh, work at an office building in a nondescript parking lot somewhere and they send emails all day those people and maybe a little tiny bit, but not nearly as much as the ones that, uh, uh, that I outlined before. Okay, quick break. When we come back, we'll get to this person who found out that they were fired at, at their own press conference. And we'll hear the audio of that. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. A police investigation is blocking some lanes on Avalon Park Boulevard between Golden Rain Tree Boulevard and Waterford Chase Parkway. Just travel with caution through there. And on I-4 this afternoon, you can expect your regular delays before US-27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. $5 finger licking deals are back at your local KFC. Choose from three delicious options, a two-piece meal with a drum, thigh and buttery biscuit side, an eight-piece chicken nuggets, or two chicken little sandwiches. Only available at select participating locations, not online. Tax extra, it's finger licking good. Get ready. Mills Air presents the News Junkies Just OK 8 at the Plaza Live March 16th. Spend your St. Patrick's Day weekend with the three best friends you never knew you had. And some of their best friends, like Baby Sloth, Young Tapes, the Shaboom, Savvy's Little Helpers, and a band from Sean and C. Lane that has yet to be named. So obviously they put a lot of thought into this. Enjoy a beatbox, the original party punch. Meet Baby Sloth and hang out in the Mo Zone, courtesy of JustCallMo.com. Just OK 8, Saturday, March 16th at the Plaza Live. Get your tickets now at RealRadio.fm slash JustOK. A fifth third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's Frank Gay Frankgayservices.com Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we're conquering the unconquerable. Using artificial intelligence and data, our experts can create a personalized gene roadmap just for you, customizing your cancer treatment, giving your body exactly what it needs to fight the disease. We're making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months, and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier sleep better and feel your best right away the biggest thing navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages it, it was from the first use i was able to just 
clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navaj helps me clear the way, literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navaj difference yourself. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navaj, N-A-V-A-G-E. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to MillsAir.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at WhenYouNeedUs.com or dial pound five four six on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM eight. HD1 Coco Beach Orlando. Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Filling in the gaps between the New York Times and World Star. This is- in person this Saturday at Just OK 8. And we are just days away at this point. It's uh, time for you to go over to realradio.fm slash Just OK and snag your tickets. Yeah, I dare you. You, uh, you could get those on the website. We're super easy to do on your phone or your laptop or whatever. And then come hang out with us on Saturday night. Uh, we're Going to have all sorts of things for everybody to do who is out there, including we got food trucks uh, for those of you who are going to be in attendance. We've got performances all night long on the stage as the party rolls on. We have a freaking baby sloth. We have a baby sloth. We've got bands galore. Sabrina's uh, band will be performing and uh, special effects crazy. The dangerous stage to be on from time to time. DJ Digital, all year. DJ Digital will be there, absolutely. c and I will be debuting our duo. How many and songs are you guys playing? I think uh, four. Wow. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I Although, love what, uh, what this has come to. You know, when I'm you initially l- said the idea, I was just like, let's just do one song. Uh, one song well, I will tell you this. I told c the other day, I was like, you told me to learn the guitar for this song. It <laughs> Could this be any easier? This is the easiest song to play in the world. I'm going to rock this thing. Time of your life, isn't it? No. Oh. And since then, I've been trying to play the song. It's like it's like the easiest thing, but I can't get it. I told, oh. I told you you don't you you can play a different instrument for that song. Okay, I'm going All to right. need to. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you know what I've been doing? I can't play any of it. Uh, obviously, not 
not just because it's going to ruin the surprise, but also the material is not for, uh-huh. you know broadcastable. But uh, I've been spending some of the break time and got in a little early to record some rehearsal material for All right. you know, so that uh, a little bit of backtrack when we're not doing no 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 just when we're not rehearsing together it's something you could play along to oh that's sweet that's a good and, bandmate Sean. Oh. And I, I had to sing all of sean's lines myself and then voice change them to uh his voice <laughs> <laughs> oh man now i want to hear wait. it so bad so so in the audio that you're going to give me it's you performing and me performing yes. except i'm not actually performing yeah. and at one point we harmonize <laughs> oh, oh man that's great you just, just made my that. job so much easier yeah now all i have to do is sound like fake sean exactly Honestly, in a pinch, we could just pipe in fake Sean. Well, you know, it's, <laughs> thought about it. <laughs> Why are we even doing this event? We could just let, let everybody go and AI takes over. Put the uh, curtain back down, man. AI, AI sloth, probably not possible, but the rest of it we can replace. Uh, so make sure you uh, are in attendance. You do not want to miss out on this. It's going to be a wild night. Go to realradio.fm slash just okay to grab your tickets right now. Uh, let's see here. We've got this woman who was at her press conference after Utah State lost their game. We're, we're big into basketball territory right now, if you didn't notice. we got March Madness on the way. It's college basketball crazy right now. And this woman, she's at her press conference, and uh, Kayla, Coach Kayla is her name, Utah State lost, and they're asking her, like, how are you going to rebuild the team for next season? And she's all like sad. I think people are kind of wondering why. And then she drops the bomb on everybody that, hey, uh, on the way to this press conference, I just heard I'm, I'm fired. Oh, okay. And the, I, I no longer weird. have a job. And I'm like, why would you keep going to the press conference? If you fire me on the, the way. Ded- dedication, if you ask me. Maybe maybe for, like, next employers. They're like, oh, my God, this woman, she went to the press conference after they said she was fired. This is the the antithesis of what they do in radio. Right. They, they'll let you do the press conference, and you'll be like, next year we're going to knock them dead. We're going to do – here's our plan, and here's our strategy. And then we'll walk out of the press conference and be like, you losers are fired. And we'll be like, damn it, man. Okay. This is bad. But, all right, yeah, hypothetically, say uh, you found out you were going to get fired – Mm-hmm. After uh, on your way into, I mean, well, you don't really drive here, but uh, on your way to your last show, yeah, you find out you're going to get fired. Do you not do the last show and then? Oh, stick my, it if to they them? were if they were stupid enough to let me do that, absolutely. I torch every bridge in sight, and I do it for an amazing four hours that that I would love. Reach out to the engineers. We're going to need a one-and-a-half-minute dumb button, please. <laughs> Huge my delicious. last three words are suck, my, <laughs> <All and right. laughs> Two words. Good luck. <laughs> uh, here she is, this poor lady. She's in the middle of her press conference, and she's like, Oh, but I won't be here next year. It's not for me. And how do you plan to rebuild for next season? She's crying. I'm not going to be rebuilding. I just coached my last game at Utah State. I spoke with Diana, and they're going in a different direction, and I respect her decision, and I hope they get a really good coach in. God, that's awkward. I'm assuming that's going to be the last question. Uh, <laughs> <she's> like, <laughs> oh, my God. I'm assuming that's going to be the last question. Am I... K- kudos to her Feel for... Bad for the guy that asked the question, man. I <laughs> Way to go, man. Whoa. How red faced would you be after getting that answer? <laughs> this is like, do you know what? One of my favorite moments. Oh God, I have to find this. See, maybe you could find this while I'm talking about it. It's a tough one to search for though. I apologize in advance. There is a famous news clip. And I remember doing this story when it happened long, long ago. And the news reporter is covering a house that caught on fire. And he asks a woman who's there, you know, like, what do you think about this house catching on fire? And the woman just starts to, like, say all kinds of things. She's like, I I think it was this guy, and here's why I think this guy did it. And it just starts getting, like, more and more uncomfortable and cringe with what the lady is saying. Didn't she say she, like, banged her cousin or something? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, maybe woman, cousin, house fire. I didn't think I'd search for that today. Woman, it was sex with cousin. That's the, the big part. It was so awkward. And the reporter's like, um, uh, ooh, That's okay. you in the studio, thanks. <laughs> All right, I think, I think this might be it here. It's a I... suspicious fire, and there's a uh, per- person of interest that they're uh, 
currently looking for. All right. That person was identified because of accusations like this. Made to First News reporter Derek Lewis during a live interview on the scene at 5 a.m. today. It was because of my cousin. And I don't want to mention no names. Your cousin? Yes. Um, and you say you think your cousin started this. Uh, do you know how or why? Listen. He's mad because he couldn't. He can't get with me. I'm married to my husband. We're not identified. <laughs> she keeps going. She's like, he, he came over here and beat my husband up the other day, and he's mad because I won't have sex with him because he's my cousin. It's like, wait, what? All right. Or, back, back, back to you. Uh, yeah, but the the you. reporter's like, I asked the question, just didn't think I was going to get this much information back. And this coach is like, uh, you know, this is it. That's my last game coached for Utah State. I assume that's going to be the last question right now. And it was, indeed. They wrapped I mean, up the press conference. I would have been like, one more question. What are your plans for after, huh? Yeah. Now what else you, you got going job, on? You need, like, uh, a part-time? All right. Let's see what we got going on with dispatches. We can work on a couple of those real quick before we fire all of you. Um, let's try this one. Here's funny name saying fired before just okay. Oh, they wouldn't do that to us. Hey, Sean, in a hypothetical, let's say you found out that you guys were no longer a show before the start of just okay. Eight. I would have another song to write. Would you continue with just okay (laughs) eight and burn it down there? Or how would you behave then? I don't Uh, think they would fire us before that. No. How much investment? Uh, No, they, they wouldn't fire us. Probably right after. We loved we love iHeartRadio yes, sometimes some mostly. Hey, I love uh, them all the time. Please, I tend to to like them. Sometimes the suits get involved and start making decisions that perplex even apes and chimpanzees. But sometimes, you know, it's a broken clock right twice a day and all that good stuff. Hmm. Uh, here's Trav. This says Sean hates pogs. Pogs? Huh? Fat ass Sean- the word you're looking for in your argument against uh, the hierarchy of heroism or whatever you want to call it mm-hmm. uh, is Pogue. Pogue? P-O-G. Stands That's for pog. person other than grunt. Oh. Because you guys are literally having the same argument that soldiers have been having forever. I know. Oh, you know who gets upset? You know who clutches their pearls besides you pussies in chat? Who does this is people who generally haven't served a day in their life. Now, I said, like, obviously, I am an honorary member of the Marines because my nope, father was in the Marines. That's not a thing. I was uh, proud to Somebody serve. Somebody called you a submarine. <laughs> so I, I am a submarine. I'll take it. I'll wear that like a badge of honor. I was, I was proud to take the reins from my father after he was done with his uh, tours of duty in California. Take uh, the reins? Yeah, yeah. So, like, he got done with being a Marine and then he gave me his Marine yearbook. It's like a ceremony that Marines do with their sons afterwards. And it transfers the honor of being in the Marines right, down a yearbook? generation. I put it in a very, very special place so as not to lose it and it not to damage it. Uh, it. It does not need to be set on air. I don't want somebody oh, of course, to steal it. As this. an honorary Marine, mm-hmm. you obviously have it within your house. In order to show everybody when we come back from commercial break, right, Sean? Honestly, as an honorary Marine or a submarine, as the listener said, it's tough for me to look at it sometimes, you know, because it brings me back. It reminds me of, of things, and uh-huh. uh, it's, just, it's, it's a lot of emotion that rushes to me. Did you throw it away? Uh, no, 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 no. I would not do that. Nope. I Are you lying not. right now? No, 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 no. He's lying uh, about something. <laughs> I'm not he's lying not even about looking anything. at the camera. He usually directly looks at the camera. And now he's everything just looking I'm all saying, around the room. This is factual. Everything so I'm saying is interesting. Fa- I am a Marine by no. proxy. No, you're not. not because okay. my father was a Marine. As they say, if your father is a Marine, you're always a Marine. No, no that's uh, Semper no, Fi. No, 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 no. Yes. And a hoorah, all of that stuff. Uh, what I absolutely love is just how people melt down. <laughs> Get so triggered by this. Where the actual Marines are like, yeah, we do the same thing. <laughs> we have levels of, of heroism that we ascribe to other people in the armed forces as well. We do the very same thing. And and the people who uh, are targets of that probably understand it, one would think. Uh, okay, we're going to get to more of you. And, well, actually, let's work at this one. Here's Bobby Cuomo with the dispatch. Hello? Hey, guys. Bobby from Denver. I'm going to have to hey, Sean here. The real heroes here are the, the taxpayers that are paying for all these military guys and girls going out and galloping the world in their military conquests. We the heroes. Why do we have to do this today? 
No, I'm just letting people have their voice. That's what the dispatches are you all about. Started this. I I just I having conversations over here. I'm being honest with people, and I like to see where people get sensitive in life. It's always an interesting thing. This is one of those things. This and cops. Man, are people sensitive? Some of, some of you cop fans very sensitive, very sensitive about stuff. But the military thing that might be the height of it. That's a playground. That's a place to to have fun and enjoy yourself. Okay, we've got more coming in, and we do want to hear from you. Send those dispatches on thenewsjunkie.com. You could watch us peer into the studio, a full production at thenewsjunkie.com slash live. We're over on YouTube and twitch.tv slash thenewsjunkie. When we come back, there is uh, more about this Mike Tyson-Jake Paul fight and something that, if it happens, is going to ruin everything. What is it? That's coming up next on the News Junkie. You know you can always text us. Unless you're driving. At 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. A police investigation is closing some lanes on Avalon Park Boulevard between Golden Rain Tree Boulevard and Waterford Chase Parkway. On I-4 this afternoon, you could expect your regular delays before U.S. 27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. Around the perimeter of I-4, traffic is pretty mellow on State Road 429 in the Greenway. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients. Today, Morgan & Morgan has more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Chances are very high that you are leaving money on the table. So why don't you let that mortgage guy, Don, help you get the money off the table and back in your hands where it belongs. Get a free fast quote review at thatmortgageguydon.com. Hit the compare button if you already have a quote, and Don will review your quote today. He'll let you know if you got the best deal or make sure to get you the best deal. He's looking out for you. I mean, what local business do you know with over 1,000 five-star reviews? That mortgage guy, Don, that is your man. He's an expert. He's part of the Real Radio family, and he has your best interest in mind. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote. Peace of mind at your fingertips. Go to thatmortgageguydon.com. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are, iHeart Media can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more consumers in your target area than anyone else, and we can give you access to those potential customers more cost effectively across radio, digital, podcasting, and social. We'd love to show you how iHeart Media can work for you. Get started today at iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. In Office Orlando. Here's what a Fence Outlet customer said about their experience. We signed with a one-man and a truck fence company because we thought they offered us a great deal. We paid them 50% up front, and then two days later he came out, removed our fence, one side of our neighbors, and installed a few posts. He had us pay the other 50%, 
and said he'd be back the next day. Well, the guy never returned to finish the job, and we couldn't get a hold of him again. We later reached out to Fence Outlet and wish we had gone with them in the first place. We had no idea how often this happens to people. Go with a company you can trust. FenceOutlet.com. License number C10252 and C10803. Tax time means a much needed cash bonus for many people, but for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is RC Hill from RC Hill, Mitsubishi, and Deland. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now, so I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season, you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a Samsung Galaxy A14 included when you buy an extended silver unlimited plan. Yeah. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Yeah. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. Online only. Family plan discount with four lines all on the silver unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like 24-7 comedy. Men don't settle down. We surrender. Women, we never express the emotions we're actually feeling, right? I'm fine means I'm about to stab you in the neck. Clips from today's top comedians and the greatest of all time. Donut hole. If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you eating the hole? When you need a laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Join in on the chaos. We eagerly await your dispatch. This Uh, every time I hear that. Oh, Jerry Seinfeld, funny guy in Seinfeld, but his stand-up is always like... Oh, the like, clips that they use are <laughs> awful. It's always like, what's the deal with airline peanuts? It's li- literally that. And uh, maybe it's really good live. I'm not sure. I've seen uh, him I've seen him live and, and uh, very much funny? enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was, is it all like those sorts of... I don't know. I don't want to say cheesy, but it is kind of cheesy, right? The the jo- jokes that he's doing about like donut holes and whatnot. Uh, you know, it, it's been it was it was a long time ago, but somewhat some of it is situational. It's like it's weird because you know there are people that say like every problem ever on Seinfeld could be solved with a cell phone, and I'm like, mm-hmm. no, not really. Right. But I mean, I, uh, some of the jokes he did was like, oh, maybe this is what Seinfeld could have been like. In the 2000s or the 2010s, okay. or something, you know, like because right. in the show, in the episodes where he started with stand up, a lot of it had to do with what was coming up in that day's show. Right. Yeah. Which is a good format. Like, I thought yeah. that worked out well. Tips of the news, junkie.com and Charles emails. He says, you're really missing out by not giving Shogun a chance. This is this new show that a lot of people are starting to talk about. If you open the menu for the show on Hulu, you'll see Shogun English dub. It's really good. You might have to put your foot down on this one. At least give the first episode in English a chance, says Charles. It's really good. Uh, I'm currently, I'm watching The Gentleman, and I'm digging The Gentleman. I'm one the episode gentleman. in and very much liking it. It's cool. It's it's like a very interesting world. Like I said yesterday, it's like the brother who thought he was going to take over for the family and take all the responsibility was not named by the father in the will, and the other brother just kind of jumps into the role, and then it goes from there, and it's pretty good. And um, I I, uh, I think that at first, Ashley wasn't, like, uh, she wasn't too sure about it, 
And then uh, the fine that like that end scene of the first episode, yeah, where they're making the video, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need you to really be, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and she did not expect the the end part, and I was like, I knew somebody was doing something here, <laughs> and uh, and then I was instructed to not watch any more episodes without her, and I'm like, yeah, we got a show, baby. It's good, and there's like eight of them, too. So that one's on Netflix. If you haven't seen it yet, the Guy Ritchie uh, series, The Gentleman, definitely check that out. All right, what do you do? What do you do in this situation? This is the part when you listen to this show, and you have to actually be honest with yourself, okay? And it's not like the view of you that you're trying to put out to the world, but honestly what you think you would do. A woman, we will call her Dawn because that's her name. She goes to a gas station. It's a place called Pump and Pantry, which there's so many of these types of gas stations dotting the countryside, the come and goes, the pump and pantries. And one, this woman, Dawn, goes into the, the pump and pantry, goes up to said pump, and she takes her, her card and swipes it. And then she didn't think that it went through, so she swiped it again real quick, and Dawn noticed something interesting. Dawn noticed that the gas station, the pump that she was at, when you swipe your card twice in a row because of some sort of vulnerability in an update, goes into demo mode. So she swipes once, she swipes twice, she looks, and the pump was in demo mode. She said, well, do I just get gas now? And Dawn takes the, the gas, sticks into the side of her car, starts pumping, and finds out she has unlocked the secret to life and the secret, and more importantly, to free gas. And she could just fill up her car as much as she wants at the pump and pantry because she's found this little loophole in the system here. Now, if you're Don, you swipe your card once, you swipe it twice, and you see all of a sudden that the pump has gone in demo mode, do you go inside and tell the station operator, hey, problem with your pump seems to be broken? Seems to be in demo mode, giving out free gas over here. Or do you quietly, like a ninja, fill your vehicle with gas <sighs> and drive away? Um, well, I feel like I wouldn't notice. Typically mm -hmm. when I start to pump gas, I am doing other things. Yeah. You know, I'm either, uh, I've gone inside to grab myself uh, a nice cold beverage. I'm uh, perhaps wiping down the windows. I just wait for that click and then... You know, I'm I'm on my merry way, so I I probably wouldn't have noticed, and I'm late, so I gotta go. Okay, so what, let's say that you did notice. Okay, you okay. noticed. Why this is? I'm trying to dance around it. I know you are. Uh, you notice that is pouring the gas in your car, and you're like, something doesn't seem right. And now you realize, oh, this is like this is some sort of weird thing. It's not. It's a bug in the system. It's not supposed to happen. Do you tell them, or do you just keep getting gas? I she don't keeps getting gas. The yeah, idea that you won't gas. answer is probably because you're yeah, going to get gas. Yeah, probably going to keep. What are you going to do, Sean? Let me guess. You're going to go and be honest about it. Man, no, it's pretty hard, actually. Uh, because I could see the first time not understanding what was going on and then just filling up your car and then staring at the screen and being like, did I just get that for free? And kind of awkwardly driving away. Like the first time I could see driving away. But once I knew that it was doing that, I probably would say something. But I might end up kind of accidentally taking the first one. I would go, no, let me check my debit card. I'm pretty sure it'll charge me. No, I mean, like, like I would just be so confused as to what was happening. See, then would you fill your truck, your brand new beautiful truck up with gas and just drive away with all the proceeds? I'd like to think that I could fill my truck and then walk in and tell them what's wrong and being like, you're welcome. You just paid for, you just paid me a tank of gas to learn so that yeah for the info uh, there was oh. there was uh actually a time not so long ago where uh i was at the gas station and i was at the the air pump trying to put mm -hmm. some air in my tires sure and the air pump was wide open and just a, a whole like uh like container a vessel full of quarters and i'm like man that's right. That there. would be super annoying to have to like, you know, take all these stolen quarters and I mean they're quarters, so that I mean 
There's probably a good amount of money here. Put it in but the then, then I got to take it to Publix and go to the Coinstar machine. Or and... you just never have to pay for a parking meter again. Oh, yeah. Stocked up on those things. But what, uh, do, you, what do you guys think Dawn did, though? Oh, see, you would, you would, you would get the gas, and then uh, you would tell them afterwards. You're saying I'd still feel bad about it. I know it, exactly yeah. what Dawn did because what she did made do? the news. What did she do? She was honest about it. All right. She went right to the clerk, and and then because of her good deed, <laughs> she made the local news, and now what seems to be national news. Dawn Thompson has been charged with one count of theft. Okay. <laughs> Dawn, after capitalizing. I take it back. On a vulnerability in the gas pumps at a shop called Pump and Pantry that got her $27,860 oh in free gasoline. <laughs> wow. it, took, it took the owners about six months to figure out what she was doing. Wow. That's when the shop's loss prevention manager discovered, loss prevention manager dropped the ball here. Yeah. Discovered one card had been repeatedly used to get free gas, and it was hers. They said upon further investigation, police learned the fuel pumps received a software update in November of 2022. The update managed orders and reward cards, and it was made at the request of customers and staff. Unbeknownst to the company, however, the update was exploitable. It allowed anybody to swipe a rewards card not once but twice and enter the pump into a demo mode. From there, the user could pump gas for free. In those months, the six months that she was doing this, she used the reward card 510 Damn, dude. times. Okay, that makes sense now. Come on. I thought you meant just one so, time. So, wait, uh, did they have to go through all the footage of this? Because, uh, or does the demo mode. I mean, she was pumping other people's gas, yes, too, obviously. Yeah, yeah it, it says this wasn't a once a day operation. Thompson was using the trick multiple times per day. She got cocky. Police say she pumped 7,413 gallons of gasoline during those uses. Jesus, Dawn. The manager estimated the average fuel cost during those months was about $3.76, and they're about $28,000 in the hole with the stolen gasoline wow. from this lady. As said she was arraigned, and her bond was set. That's she always is... the problem, man. <laughs> it would have been fine. Don't I know. get greedy. You're right. If she would have just maybe... Once a week, you know, just like once a month or something, filled up her car, drove around. She probably could have done this forever. They never would have noticed that that was the thing. But she's bringing all her friends over. She's like, guys, I got this. Here's how we do this. Check this out. We'll fill up all your cars and get a little greedy. And what happens? Then you get caught. That's what happens. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, Netflix Live, the boxing match. Well, I think some people will be interested in, for sure. Don't forget, uh, he's 27 years old, Jake Paul is. And oh God, Mike Tyson. Really? Yeah, Tyson's 57. 57 years old. Now, I know you, you might think you know what I'm going to say here, but I'm not. Even at 57 years old, I would be incredibly scared to fight Mike Tyson. All right? I don't think at 57 years old... I could beat up Mike Tyson. I think he's still an incredibly strong dude and that he's packs a punch, right? But I also think that Jake Paul is probably just going to kick his ass because he's in his 20s, because he's uh, an active fighter right now, because he has way more endurance, I'm sure, than a 57-year-old, nearly 60-year-old man. But people don't care. They like weird stuff like this. They want to see these weird fights. What's their like um, stats comparison though? Because uh, Mike, Tyson Mike Tyson is bigger than him. He retired in 2005. He was 50 wins and six losses, and he fought in 2020 against Roy Jones Jr. in a tie that most people thought Tyson clearly won. And Jake Paul is nine and one with six knockouts but mostly against former UFC fighters or one-sided farces against boxers. Exactly. His only loss came against uh, boxer Tommy Fury last year, they said. And now you've got uh, Jake Paul, Mike Tyson fighting in the ring. And people want this because wh who was the one? Uh, Sabrina, you like you bought this, and I think you screened Aaron it at your house. Aaron Carter and... Uh... Yeah, well, like Manute, Lamar, Lamar Odom. Or Lamar Odom. Oh, but there wasn't like... Minute bowl. Looks like or... Lamar won that one. Yeah, he did. Yeah. No, he kicked his ass in like two seconds. Um, no, I this was celebrity boxing. I'm, yeah. I no, never no, no. bought they, like real. 
boxing. There people. was there there was one where it was a a, a basketball player, and I think it might have been on the same card. I might be wrong about that. And mm. it was uh, some basketball player that was like eight feet tall boxing some like little like five foot tall guy in, in, in the ring, and you're like. Well, we know who's going to win this. He goes, it doesn't matter. It's fun. If people want to see these kind of freak show boxing matches. But there is some heat that they're getting, including from Dylan Dennis, who probably should focus on just not losing himself because he got his ass kicked recently. Uh, the, uh, a UFC great Michael Bisping says you should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, blah, 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 blah. They said, I know for a fact, this is uh, sports reporter, reporter Ariel Helwani. Uh, Ariel Harani said uh, that they had heard they were using 18 ounce gloves and head guards in the fight. I don't know if that's going to be true because I think that would be sort of lame if you saw them up there with like the head guards and well, the gloves is fine. I mean, whatever people what don't is, care. What, what's 18, the glove difference? Yeah. yeah are the, 18 the gloves, ounces normal or two? they're thicker. Okay. Yeah. They're thicker oh, than they're the like, gloves. So you we might won't expect. see blood, man. You know, it's like more cushion on there. So it doesn't hurt as bad, but if they're wearing head guards, I seriously doubt that. I think that they're, they're going to get in there and box and there'll be plenty of money on the line. Uh, would you ever watch this? Let us know. Mark on YouTube says, I don't get the whole Jake Paul exhibition fight appeal. I haven't watched one and never will. Where did this Paul guy come from? You haven't watched one, Mark, but you got to give credit where credit's due. These brothers, as annoying as they are, and as much as everybody hates them, they have reinvigorated boxing. Yeah. Like, there's almost no doubt about yeah, it. But they've set it up for themselves. Yes, of That's course. Always so, that case. But, but regular boxing was dead. UFC had trounced boxing. Nobody talked about boxing like they used to. Boxing was dead as a sport, and they said, let's bring this back. Let's make this like a celebrity thing. Let's make it a big, giant to-do. Do you think if they're doing the uh, head guards, like the headgear, yeah. is it – are they worried that Mike Tyson's is going to seriously uh, injure Jake Paul? Or maybe or, bite his ear off. Or they worry <laughs> – bite his ear off could be a thing. <laughs> or is it like, hey, Mike Tyson's in his 50s now. If Jake Paul has a significant blow to the head, you know, it could be – Bad for Mike Tyson. Yeah, it could be both. Makes sense. Yeah, it could be both. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll see what you think. When we return the next episode with Sabrina, what's coming up on the next episode? What's coming up on the next episode? Oh, Dolly Parton has allegedly Joe leaked some news about Beyonce. If animatronics and video games make you feel something in your naughty parts, Chuck E. Cheese has a monthly payment with your name on it. Plus, the new Michael Jackson biopic wants us to hee-hee-heave the old molestation stuff in the trash. All that and so much more coming up on the next episode. And that is coming up next on the News Junkie. Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Tuesday and we're in for another beautiful day across Central Florida. Plan for afternoon highs to climb into the upper 70s and low 80s with a forecast high of 80 degrees in Orlando. We'll expect plenty of sunshine. However, a few stray showers for our Wednesday, a 20% chance of those will help to increase cloud cover with a high of 82 tomorrow, low 90s for the weekend. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by InvisibleFence.com. Going stir-crazy with your pet? Invisible Fence brand works in any weather so you can stay warm while your dog gets their energy out in the yard. Their local pet experts work with you to create a customized solution tailored to fit your pet. Learn more about how pets like yours gain independence at InvisibleFence.com. In this week's Marketer's Report, Raja Raja Manar, Chief Marketing and Communications Officer of MasterCard, talks about measurement. Measuring Sonic and Sonic branding and Sonic initiatives across the board, the principles of measurement are the same, but the parameters that you measure are different. We measure, and what we find is our investment is paying for itself in oodles. We have been partnering with iHeart across multiple platforms, both for brand enhancement as well as for performance marketing. I think the cut through of the message and the recall of the brand are much higher. Also, it has been very beneficial for us to integrate some of our campaigns into the native content of iHeart. It has been a very nice partnership and it continues to be very strong into the future. As the number one audio company, 
iHeart Media gives marketers access to the audiences, trusted influencers, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. McDonald's McCafe Ice Coffee wakes you up like the perfect song. The 100% Arabica beans get your head nodding. Yeah, then the cream drops like a smooth bass line. Uh-huh, add some ice to chill it down. And some French vanilla flavor. There you go. Or change it up and go with caramel. Either way, it's a stone-cold classic. Start your day with a $1.49 McCafe iced coffee available during breakfast hours only. Music to my ears. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. I can choose two faves and save big with a bundle of savory sausage McMuffin or flaky sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for $2.79. Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late-night snack perhaps. When I bundle a crispy McChicken or juicy McDouble with delicious delicious small fries for only three sixty nine. dollars Now my day is made the tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid with product served. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Whenever you need us, just reach out and we'll be there with more locations, more experts, and more resources to deliver the health care you need to comfort you and make you feel your best. Find a care site near you at hcafloridahealthcare.com. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution, and that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you lose up to 15 pounds a month, and it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Real Radio. Watching the world burn with some friends since 2007. This is. Entertainment and beyond. This couldn't be easier for me, honest to God. C Lane literally just sent me the whole song with me singing in it. He's and a good bandmate. I, don't have to, I just got to listen to the AI version of me singing the song, and I got to recreate that, and it's great. It's fantastic. You did an <laughs> awesome job. It's really, really good. I'm so excited for people to see it. It's going to be happening this Saturday, Just Okay 8. Get your tickets right now. While you can, go to realradio.fm slash just okay. Let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV. And you can't possibly keep up with all of it. Even though you should, because what else are you going to talk about? Oh, look at that sweet Latin booty. Nothing. Well, mm-hmm. nice. It's time for the next episode with Sabrina. Hey. You just. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Smoke weed every day. 
hold up. The next episode brought to you by That Mortgage Guy Don from ThatMortgageGuyDon.com and, of course, the Home Loans Radio Show. Refinancing, buying your first dream home, perhaps buying your first franchise. Ooh. That's right. He does residential and commercial loans. He's been doing it for decades, has over 1,000 five-star reviews, and you're going to be his next one. I know it. So get the process started today with an expert and a friend that you could trust. Don't miss the boat, my friends. Compare your quote at ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. I know he could give me a franchise. That's freaking awesome. What are you gonna get? I don't know. Like, please, KFC. Don't. You get a Subway. They don't have a lot of those, right? Oh, and there's too many of those. I like. Maybe I would get a. Um, I don't know. I have to think about this a little bit more. But it's I want a possibility. the easiest thing, like uh, shaved ice. And you yeah, just that's, pour this stuff on <laughs> the inventory's cheap. Yeah, that's good. I want to be a silent partner, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, he can help you with that. That mortgageguide.com. dot com. It was fifty five years ago, nineteen sixty nine. Yeah. One of the members of this group right here. The Beatles. The Beatles is right. At the bad On this day, that Paul McCartney married Linda Eastman at the. Merrill Bone Town Hall in Westminster, London. Nice. Something was missing from that wedding, wasn't there? Um, all the other Beatles. No other Beatles had attended uh, because, well, it can at least uh, tell you what George Harrison was doing. What was he doing? He was getting arrested with his wife, Patty Boyd, because the London cops conducted a drug raid on their home and they found some marijuana. Oh! Actually, it doesn't say what drugs they found, but I assume it was marijuana, right? A lot of the stuff back then was marijuana. Maybe some which... acid. Really dumb. Also sad that none of the Beatles went. Because they're still together, aren't they? Who? Um, Paul McCartney and uh, Linda. I believe oh, they're no. still... No, they're no, not. No, no. They got he to had the one-legged sorry. lady after her. Oh. I thought Linda was the one-legged lady. Yeah, one-legged was she? Linda. One-legged oh. Linda. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. Well, uh, somebody has passed away, unfortunately. We bid adieu. He is no longer all by himself. He's with Jesus. Fatality. And that is... Eric Carmen. Oh. Not to be confused with the spec by authority. No. Damn it. <laughs> I know that's right. Hey, you guys. <laughs> hey. You, I'm not even going to say Shaggy because it wasn't even a Shaggy. That was like a cue that met the quota for the quarter mm. for sure. Heather oh, Mills I, McCartney was the one with uh, missing, a, oh. missing a left leg below mm. the knee. Linda had both legs yeah. and they're divorced. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Eric Carmen is dead. Uh, he is the lead singer of the Raspberries. Uh, Raspberries. Uh, he had a hit with Go All the Way. And as a solo artist, his hits included All By Myself and Hungry Eyes. And now oh. his eyes are rotting. Hungry eyes. That one from. Uh, that song is on like 74, they said. That's like a Publix banger right there. That's. is that in Dirty Dancing? Yes. Oh, yeah. there you go. Full of facts, everybody. The movie's creepy. Uh, I got one of these for you. Oh! And of all people to drop that bombshell, it's this gal. I'm begging her. Dolly Dolly Parton. Parton. Dolly P is right, and she just dropped a major bombshell and is probably in big trouble with Beyonce's camp. In the past, she said she would love to work with Beyonce, would love to cover one of her songs or see if Beyonce would cover Dolly's songs. And now Mm -hmm. that has changed because Dolly's saying, well, I think she has. What are you saying uh-oh for? No, no, I'm not saying uh uh-oh. Okay. Uh, Dolly sat down with a local paper. Did I say, oh? I thought I heard that, but maybe I'm just hallucinating. Uh, uh, mm. Local paper, Knox News. And, uh, they're going, I knew that. During <laughs> the season opening of Dollywood and had some tea to dish out about Bay, when asked if Beyonce was going to sing one of her songs on the upcoming album, Act Two, she said, well, I think she has. I think she's recorded Jolene. I think she's probably going to be on her country album, which I'm very excited about that. When asked uh, what she thought of Beyonce, she said, I just love her. She's a beautiful girl and a great singer. Uh, 2024, already off to a wild start. Beyonce drops a cover of Jolene. I will throw up on myself and listen to it multiple times a day. Uh, in the meantime, stop doing that, please. Why? Sean, you, hello? Sean? Hello? Hello? Can you hear Sean? Yeah. Hello? I hear him. 
Uh, this guy right here, you don't know it. It's actually Richard Simmons, and it's a new song. Richard Simmons. Ladies and gentlemen. Richard Simmons has Madonna delighted fans this week here. with a surprise drop of a dance track. Is this real? This is 1,000% real. Curly-haired legend himself, 75 years old, uh, has shocked his... <laughs> this is sad. The, that's only the amount of fans he has. That's just the amount of people who've bothered to add him on Facebook. Yeah, but you think it'd be a lot more. Richard Simmons has been around forever. I don't think he's very active, though. Right? Like, yeah. I don't. If I see somebody's Instagram account, I'm like, oh, I know that person, but they never post anything. I don't follow them. Right. Well, I'm. You better follow this. So take that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh. So yeah, I guess he's gonna start releasing some other stuff that was in the the Dick Simmons vault, as we call it. And this is uh, one of them. It's uh, He says, we will put them a few at a time so you don't get tired of my voice. Signing the post, love, Richard. I don't hate it. I think that I will hate it if I hear it four more times. It's um, got like a gypsy vibe to it, though. Yeah. You'll be sweating this is weird, actually. It kind of makes me feel strange. Uh, he's not a good rabbit. Bad bunny. Oh, bad bunny. Bad bunny is right. And she has to give us that cue every oh, single time. <laughs> it's the same song, too. Uh, According to a new lawsuit, uh, Bad Bunny isn't playing with one of his fans, just one he is now suing a man for uploading videos from his concert on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's seeking an injunction barring the fan from posting any further footage online, plus either a flat $150,000 for each of the videos uploaded. Damn. Or any actual damages uh, that the rapper can prove he suffered from the fan's actions. Yeah, so, that's really common, though, that all people the time. just upload their footage from a concert online. But this one became very popular. According to mm-hmm. the court docs, uh, they claim that this man, Eric Guillermo Madronal Garrone, uploaded full song performances on a YouTube channel that he runs called Mad for Life Music. And the court docs reportedly claimed that he attended the most wanted tour in Salt Lake City, recorded several videos of the live performance, and then following the concert the recorded content was then uploaded but i guess individually and bad bunny reportedly asserts that he owns the rights to the live performance and the music he did not have the authorization you think youtube would just shut it down but now bad bunny is going after him specifically so one of his videos must have gone viral yeah that's why. It, it sounds like instead of just holding his phone up at a concert this this person put like some more effort into it yeah. and then tried to make it like they were releasing their own version of this that people could watch Sad. Um, I don't understand how this is happening, but congratulations to anyone who loves this franchise. I did when I was a child. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese is. And Chuck E. Cheese is now testing a tiered membership program in San Diego. Yes. Sean. I'm listening. It's the chain's first ever membership program and includes bronze, silver, and gold levels with pricing from $7.99 to $29.99. And uh, if you go bronze, you get to uh, have 70 play points, 200 e-tickets to be redeemed at the prize wall, 20% Mm. discount on food, drink, and extra play points on every visit. It goes up from there as far as the e-tickets, play points, and the pizza, and the drinks. Now, benefits for all tiers include one play card for each child. Uh, play points and e-tickets and uh, prizes throughout the year. Surprises as well. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. First introduced, I guess, three years ago for summer fun passes, and now they're like, we should make more money all the time. Kids only or uh, adults allowed to get one of the gold cards? We are supposed to have a um, child. Child, right? Yeah. Mm. Just steal a kid. All right. Uh, Or you can just watch the TV show that is in the works for Chuck E. Cheese. 
Hopefully they have a more clear theme song. <laughs> it's a little hard. A game show is in the works. Adult teams of two will compete in supersized arcade games like pinball and the human claw to earn the most tickets to exchange for prizes off a massive prize wall. So there you have it, my friends. It's uh, from the same guys behind Top Chef and nailed it. So no word on the network, premiere date, who's on the cast, but just know it is huh. headed our way. And on this day, as I give you the boob tube, uh, it was 36 years ago that George Michael was rickrolled out of the top of the Billboard Hot 100. Bid uh, a congratulations to Rick Astley on this day. Never going to give you up. Number one. And at number seven, Man in the Mirror. There you go. The Voice. Ooh. Of the cleaning lady, FBI International, FBI Most Wanted, FBI, 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 and Kelly Clarkson will be on Fallon. <laughs> Follow your dreams and me on Instagram at Sabrina Ambra. Get your Just Okay eight tickets. RealRadio.fm slash Just Okay. And stay with me, America. Smoke weed every day. Thank you, Sabrina. I don't know if that Chuck E. Cheese show is going to work. I don't know if those kind of shows work anymore. You know, like Double They'll Dare? Work for one season. Man, growing up, I loved the show Double Dare. I was like, this seems so fun. This would be so exciting to be on this show. But I don't know if it's enough anymore. I don't know if, like, now you, you need more things going on on the screen to keep the younger folks entertained. Uh, when we come back, we'll not only hear from you and get your dispatches worked in, but something is worth a whole lot of money, and it's going to take you by surprise. He's what nuts. is it? It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Do you do words good? Prove it. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's a bit of commotion this afternoon. Authorities are clearing up a couple of accidents. The off-ramp from I-4 westbound to Maitland Boulevard is partially blocked. Alafaya Trail westbound between Winter Park Drive and US-1792. The right lane is blocked between there. And expect delays due to an accident on Apopka Vineland Road between World Center Drive and I-4. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Healthcare. Whenever you need us, just reach out and we'll be there with more locations, more experts, and more resources to deliver the health care you need to comfort you and make you feel your best. Find a care site near you at hcafloridahealthcare.com. Find your new career. The Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, March 13th at the Orlando Science Center. More info at fljobsnow.com. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navaj immediately. This thing is amazing. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. Solar Source has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable, base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at solarsource.com slash monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life 
Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of a repair. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. A1 from day let the professionals at Fence Outlet save you time and money. We handle everything from the free estimate to the install. We do it all, and you get 0% financing. So come into Fence Outlet or visit fenceoutlet.com today. License number C-10252 and C-10803. Regulated activities performed by a licensed affiliate. I had no idea I could sell my life insurance policy. Norman and Nancy Duggan for Coventry Direct. We were about to let Norman's policy lapse because premiums have become expensive. Our kids are doing well on their own, so we just don't need it anymore. Then Nancy called Coventry. They were so helpful, answering all of our questions. If you're over 65 and have $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may qualify. After this past year, we're celebrating life. We've booked some long overdue travel and we're able to pay for our grandkids' college. Coventry Direct has helped thousands live the life they want to live, pay for unplanned medical expenses, or supplement retirement income. When it comes to selling your life insurance, Coventry has you covered. Call 1-800-607-9400 or visit CoventryDirect.com to learn more about how you can get cash by selling your life insurance. Call 800-607-9400. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now, you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer, and there are rebates that you get up to $1,275 on a brand new carrier unit. If you're going to go with the experts, you got to go with carrier, and you got to go with MillsAir.com. That's where I got my system. I absolutely love it. And you got to make sure you do maintenance on your AC system. They do service on all brands of AC, and it can detect and prevent an upcoming breakdown for you and save you a lot of money. You can count on MillsAir.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts.
He won't hesitate to call you out when you're being a little ASCII. This is the... The phenomenon, the obnoxious phenomenon of engagement bait that seems to be just like ever present online right now. And it's either fake stuff like fake videos. There's there's one that I saw this week and I, some of you fall for this every single time. There's a woman in this video that I saw going viral this week and she is pissed off because she saw a guy, a grown man, Facebook, and the grown man, Instagram, Twitter, y'all see was it? buying a kid's meal at McDonald's. So she approached him and starts yelling at him and berating this guy. How could you do? You're a weirdo. You're buying the kids' meal. I'm like, this is fake. All of this is fake. All of these things are fake. And yeah, they're generally, man. they're released on these websites or like Facebook pages where they have the same crew of actors that does all the different bits. And I wish someone would just make an article calling them out. Make that the, the next uh -huh. engagement video. My God. But because people aren't skeptical or aren't smart enough, a lot of like ADIQ drones just wandering around the world, and they see these things, they're like, oh my God, this lady's mad because this guy bought this Happy Meal and the world has gone mad. And you go, no, it's fake, dummy. It's fake. Like all of these videos, the majority of all these stupid freak out videos are fake. And you get the real one every now and then, the woman who thought the guy was an alien or whatever. He's not real. That guy's not real. <laughs> I'll tell you guys right now. He is Strangely enough, real. that guy, well, that situation was real. That was a real video. But there were fake ones around that, too. If you remember afterwards, there was somebody who pretended to be on the flight with him and said that there was a guy who uh, his eyes blinked sideways or, you know, whatever. So, so many people fall for this crap. And we just get the absolute wave of garbage that continues to get served up to us every day in our algorithms. And it's our faults. It's our faults for clicking on them. Here's a great example of what is engagement bait. So just know. You clicked on it. Uh, I didn't click on it. I didn't need to click on it. It's so dumb. It's such a stupid take that none of the three of us, I can say with 100% authority, will ever agree with this. In fact, no one who reads this post will agree with it. But that's the point. The point is, it's engagement bait to get you to see it and then go, ah, I'm going to get angry and I'm going to click on the site. And all of these stupid websites where they call themselves journalists, all they care about is how many ad impressions they got, not whether or not you had a good time. Right? It's like the worst theme park ever where they don't care if you have a good time. They just want more people to go into the theme park. And here's the one that I'm talking about today. Slate is who this is from. They used to be a respected publication for the most part online at Slate.com. Oh, boobs. Yay. This says, it needs to be said, Sydney Sweeney's boobs are not that big. False. False. Ew, this, that's this so is weird, man. The take, the take that they do, it, and the first thing they do is they bulletproof themselves, because I know where your head's going to go when you see a story like this. They have a woman write it. Right. So if you're like, oh, a bunch of creepers at it. Oh, there was a woman who wrote this so that now they've defended themselves against that. And the woman goes off on how she thinks like, you know, Sydney Sweeney doesn't actually have big boobs. It doesn't matter. Don't read it. Don't click it. Don't engage with it. Whatever. Uh, I do love that there was a community note on this that just says, yes, they are. And links to Sydney Sweeney's Instagram account. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's kind of funny, actually. But nobody involved in this believes what they're typing. Nobody involved in this article from Slate believes that Sydney Sweeney doesn't have big boobs. Nobody on planet Earth with eyeballs believes that, right? It's just a, an assured win for them because they say, we'll post this out there and the people will go nuts. It's like the easiest way to get clicks and engagement is to say the dumbest possible thing. Oh, of course. I mean, and that is frustrating. It is frustrating. But with the, I mean, our industry, we certainly mm. have those moments. If we're going to put the curtain up a little bit, we know what the talkers are going to be. We yeah. had it today. Military. Uh, pit bulls. And weed. What was the, uh, there was a third one that was always mentioned. I think, I yeah, weed, weed, weed legalization, pit bulls, uh, all those things are like the triggers. But I think there's a difference between a trigger and then just writing some stupid stuff that you don't even believe in. <laughs> like, you just go, I mean, it's hey. like you don't have eyes. Yeah, I, I mean, everybody... like to talk about her. Oh, almost said the D word.
Oh, wow. Would, yeah. Right well, there on the edge. Well, SNL can do it. Why can't I? But uh, uh, why do we have to talk about Like, that's just the thing. It's just, it's so old, yet people are still falling for it. Like, we've talked about Sydney Sweeney's boobs for all of 2024 so far. I We're think going into that. The fourth month of 2024. Uh, I think that the topic is is fair because it's, it's put out there not only by her, but by everybody else. It's part of her persona. But nobody believes what they're writing in this article. Nobody believes that. And imagine like being a woman and reading an article that says Sydney Sweeney's, uh, Sweeney's boobs are not that big and being like, well, wh- what do I got here then? What, if she's not, what am I dealing with here? This is stupidity. And I, I think it's starting to fall in on itself. I really think that's starting to crumble. If you don't believe that it is or can, well, I'll only point you to how everything evolves online. For a very, very long time, the way the internet went was the way of BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed's like dead in the water now. They don't do anything near what they used to do. How much of this article did you read, by the way? uh, I read the first like three or four paragraphs when I read it last night. Some of it's like woman's planning boobs. Yeah. Oh, great. Go ahead. I was like, further, boobs come in more shapes than round. Seventeen Magazine once cataloged eight variations, including Teardrop, Pendulous, You're and East-West. You're referencing West. Seventeen yeah. Magazine. She, she's chat GPTing it, basically. She's trying to get enough words to have an article that says something that is going to get everybody uh, chiming in. and w- w- Only in one direction, really. There's not going to be a lot of people that are like, yep, totally agree with you. <laughs> That's just stupid. But the the way this works changes over time. For a long time, it was like, uh, doctors found out that this works amazing to put you in better health, and they're really angry about it. Or it was, it was a form of clickbait that was happening and very prevalent at the time. Up, Upworthy, I think, was one of the websites. Oh yeah, um, that used to do this with the headlines. Where it'd be like, "This woman was able to save herself from drowning in her car because of one thing she had in the center console." More at six p.m. Uh huh. You're like, "Oh, I got another thing." What's the thing? And teases are as old as anything, but, and, and those are fine. I'm the, the worst Teases offender at that. Teases as old as time. But when you got people writing articles that they don't agree with, just to like inflame people, that's when you end up with a corrosive internet. And that's what we have now. It's like people angry at things that aren't true. People angry at, at things that people don't believe. People are just angry. Everything generated to make you angry. It's hard for you to duck that, I think, sometimes. So try to get better at it if you can. The engagement bias is real. Liquid death, however, maybe this is a sign of the end times. Liquid death, the company that said, all we need to do is redo water. We need to take water, put it in a cool can with admittedly cool graphic design elements around it. Great and marketing. people will buy it. People will go for the marketing, even though it's just water, right? Like when people go, why should I get Liquid death water. I don't know. Do you like water? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's water. It's not better necessarily than any other water. Personally, I don't like drinking my water out of a can, but go go yeah, for it. When you're really thirsty, there's something about that mouth pour. Yeah. It does hit I different guess. than a plastic bottle. Hey, don't listen to me on this. Have you tried a carton yet? They're the company that's worth $1.4 billion right now. Nice. As of their latest financing round. They were valued at $1.4 billion, double what they were valued in just 2022. And they raised some more funding from uh, National Football League player DeAndre Hopkins, Live Nation, um, a bunch of different capital outlets. And they're going to do some more product development with this money. But they're now valued at $1.4 billion. Folks, it just goes to show you. The shiny stuff still works. You, You got water as your product. Just water. That's all it is. But yet it still very effectively works to sell you all the products because the marketing, well, the marketing is just good. And everybody can learn a little lesson from that, I think. Okay, we are going, actually, let's play uh, one dispatch real quick. And here's Concrete Mike talking about Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. I wonder if he's going to watch this. Happy Tuesday, News Junkie crew. So my thoughts on the Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fight. Um... I think Tyson will murder him. I grew up watching Mike Tyson. I'm probably showing my age there with that. But you're making you my know, point. Uh, the, his brother Logan is doing big things in WWE right now, and they're both geniuses at making money. Uh, but I do hope Jake gets knocked out. 
Yeah, I mean, I wanted to hate both these guys, and I don't necessarily care uh, about their thoughts on things, but the Paul brothers are undoubtedly, like, really good at what they're doing. They did one of the hardest things ever. They launched a sports drink. Can you imagine launching a like your competitors are Gatorade and like, to yeah, go but and when you have all your YouTube fans yes. like, eating out of the palm of your hand? I'm well, I'm not, look, I'm not saying anybody could do it. They have to have their fan base. But what they're doing is big stuff. Launching Prime, that drink, is insane. His involvement with the WWE is, I think, heavily tied into being able to advertise his Prime uh, beverages on that show. And when I saw a clip of him, Logan Paul, a, a, in WWE, I was like, oh, God, this guy. What's he doing? He's out of his element again. And then he's like jumping from rope to rope across the entire damn wrestling ring, doing these feats of strength that nobody else could possibly do. It's super impressive. I, I And I hate that. I hate when somebody who's mega hateable, you don't want to like them at all, does something good. But and dodge the cancel bolt. Like, uh, which one did Logan Paul was the, the dead video thing, right? Oh, no, I don't. Wait, know. wait, like the oh, is that, is that, Suicide Forest? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. I think that was Logan Paul. And um, Jake Paul, everybody just hated him. They just hated him because they hated the videos. And he, like, was it bullied people in some of the videos and stuff. But look what they've done. I mean, it's all just kind of worked out. They've been successful at some of this stuff, except for uh, some of the crypto things they've been involved with. That's not as good. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Excuse me. When Let's we come see. back, we're going to get to why your car is ratting you out. Your car is routing you out to your insurance company, and you may not even know it. The details you actually need to know, plus you and your voice. Coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is... The Monsters in the Morning. It's National Spaghetti Day. Meatballs not included. Most. Did you do spaghetti as a kid? Yeah, oh, you? yeah, a lot. So did for the longest time. Yeah. I thought spaghetti was <laughs> a Latin dish. <laughs> mm. The Monsters in the Morning. Real Radio 104.1. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Travel with caution and expect delays. Authorities are clearing up an accident on Apopka Vineland Road, northbound between World Center Drive and I-4. There's an accident on Forest City Road, westbound before Sun Shadow Drive. The right lane is blocked as well. And the off-ramp from I-4 westbound to Maitland Boulevard is partially blocked. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by the Florida Department of Transportation. Hey, listeners, before celebrating St. Patrick's Day this year, remember to plan ahead and know all your options. If you drink, don't get behind the wheel. Instead, designate a sober driver or catch a ride service. And if you are the designated sober driver, commit to staying sober. Don't let your luck run out. The following is a promotion of Guarantee Media and not iHeart Media or this station. Attention, our friends from Guarantee Media are giving away a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included for only $99 to the first 50 listeners to tell me the name of a country without the letter A in its name. You know it? A country that doesn't have the letter A on its name and you'll go on a cruise to the Caribbean. Text your answer to 96551 and you'll get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included. You heard right. Be one of the first 50 to text the name of a country without the letter A in its name and you'll go on a five-day cruise. Text your answer to 96551. That's 96551. Be one of the first 50 listeners to tell me a country without the letter A in its name and get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals included for only $99. Text your answer to 96551. Text a country without the letter A in its name to 96551. This is not a contest. It is a paid advertising by Guarantee Media with the purpose of soliciting sales on vacation ownership and is not affiliated with iHeartMedia. Some terms and conditions apply. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelax. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you'll lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, 
Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. Are allergies holding you back? Take control with Aspire Allergy and Sinus, your one-stop solution for a breath of fresh air. Our expert team offers comprehensive allergy testing and cutting-edge treatments so you can enjoy life without the hassles of sneezing and sniffles. Say goodbye to allergy and sinus struggles and hello to a healthier, happier you. Go to AspireAllergy.com today to ditch those temporary fixes and schedule your appointment. That's AspireAllergy.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. We recently received a call from an injured person. The insurance company had offered them $11,000. We took the case over and got more than $2 million in court. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Our friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer and they're a rebate that you get up to $1,275 on a brand new Carrier unit. If you're going to go with the experts, you got to go with Carrier, and you got to go with MillsAir.com. That's where I got my system. I absolutely love it. And you got to make sure you do maintenance on your AC system. They do service on all brands of AC, and it can detect and prevent an upcoming breakdown for you and save you a lot of money. You can count on MillsAir.com. I have diabetes. I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I have asthma. I'm at risk, too. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help protect Prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. 800-919-3200. This year full of rail radio is sponsored by R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Highway 1792 in DeLand. If you love sports and scandal, then join me, ESPN broadcaster Jay Harris, each week for Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals, the newest podcast from executive producer Dan Patrick. From current scandals like MMA champ Cain Velasquez armed car chase to historic shockers like the biggest Little League cheat, Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals doesn't shy away from dark details and always packs a punch. Never miss the dirt, people. Listen to Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Riding the daily roller coaster of viral news from the front row. It's story is going to change your life forever okay this story is going to change your life forever big promise but as per usual i will deliver on this said promise and honestly going through i was like whew, i felt like i was victorious just getting to the end of this story without losing it and then i said that's it i'm changing my life i'm changing the way i do things and this, honestly, we got to dust this off. It's the worst story in the world. It truly is. So oh. here goes. One, two, three. No, there ain't no escaping, so let's get in the world. Hot your kids, hot your wife. It's the worst, 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 worst. 
story in the world. Brutally, brutally bad. And just take this all in. We'll see if it changes your life as well. This happened to a man from the state of Florida, and he said that he was having some headaches. He was having chronic migraines. And I've known a couple of people growing up who had uh, chronic migraines, and it seems like such an absolute nightmare. Oh, yeah. People I can't like, even throw imagine. Up from that. Yeah, open yeah. Their eyes. I, I knew people who would just be in bed all day long because yeah. they couldn't get rid of these migraines that they had. We had a, and, a friend of ours, a co-worker, who had migraines yeah. when they were with us in Jamaica and had to miss like some oh, of the fun right. because they had to be laid up in bed with migraines. Yeah, you can't have fun while you're feeling like that. That sucks. And if it's this bad that you're like seeking out help from doctors, you're just living in abject misery. That's no fun. Uh, this so this happened uh, down in South Florida and at the Orlando, Orlando Regional Healthcare System, I guess. According to the report, a 52 year old man had a past history of chronic migraines. So he goes to the doctors at an outpatient clinic, and he said it's been getting worse and worse over the last four months. He says it's just unbearable, these headaches that I'm dealing with. They said, well, that's unusual. There's a new pattern of migraines. We want to run a CT scan on your head. Anybody ever had a CT scan done? E- I no. I don't think I have. Oh, you I know, I did in high school uh, when I uh, was playing sports and fell on my head. And so that was the recommended course of action. And I turned I out think- just fine. I don't think I've ever had this done. I think it's rare unless you have what Sabrina's saying. Like, if you have a head injury, then they go, let's get you in there. Let's look at the CT scan and see what's going on. So doctors take a look. They do the CT scan, and they see some cysts on both sides of this guy's brain. And they're going, what's going on here? So they look a little closer, and they find out that this man has brain worms. His brain is infected by pork tapeworms oh throughout his brain pork tapeworms made him sick to the point where he was having non-stop migraines that were incredibly intense i mean uh, also couldn't that be much much worse if the tapeworms eat the wrong, wrong part of the brain i guess so you don't want that right bottom line you don't want these things in your head and that's where they were and it's like it's like killing this guy as he's trying to live They said there are two types of pork tapeworm infections. If we ingest larval tapeworm cysts found in pork or other undercooked meat, they can migrate to our intestines and grow into full-blown adult tapeworms. These worms... That's the one where you lose a lot of weight, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. But then they pull it out of you, and it's like eight feet long. Yeah, these things can get real big inside you, and then you don't really know much is going on. They can cause gastrointestinal illness and weight loss, though people will often never experience any symptoms from it. The worms will also produce eggs that get pooped out, and if the eggs eventually infect pigs or other host animals, the life cycle starts all over. But if another person or even the same infected person then ingests those eggs, the new generation of worms reaches a dead end, and they can only mature into cyst form. So this guy ended up with these brain tapeworms, and they said the infected man reported no recent travel history to areas of the world where people are at risk of tapeworms nor a history of eating raw or street vendor food, which could cause this. For all you watching all the street vendor food stuff, tr- street foods of Asia, you're watching all these people eat this stuff, remember, you could get real sick if you're not eating from a place that's doing the right stuff. Oh, man. That's not what Nasty. did it for him. That's not what did it for this guy. What, did he eat he, his poop? They said he did admit to regularly eating lightly cooked non-crispy bacon which appears to be the most likely culprit for his predicament. So this Where was guy he getting it from a dumpster. He liked floppy bacon. He, I, I like, like floppy, floppy bacon. bacon. He didn't Jeez. want like like the, Courtney wants a crispy, like on the verge of being burned. Oh yeah, bacon. we call it crunch crunch bacon. Yeah, I That's like too both. much. I like I, both. It depends on how you're eating it, but I do love some good floppy bacon. Yeah, I can do it if it's like do a I little bit a crispy. One? Uh, you might. It could be one in there. You feeling any headaches these days? I mean, uh, every once in a while. Uh, this guy had it I'll bad. I'll take a tapeworm and, and, you know, lose some LBs. You would know if you have one in your brain. Free Ozempic. Because this guy said it's real bad. But he, want, he wanted that non-crispy bacon, and they said that's what got him. And that's what ended up giving this dude brain worms. No, thank you. For me, I'll go a little further. On that bacon chart, you know, they have the toast chart, like from white toast to like the toasted toast, like real burned in the other corner. And you select the one that you want, like your desired level of toast. 
for bacon, I'm moving to the right. I'm going to more cooked bacon than before because I don't want that happening to me, for God's sake. Before we get to you and your dispatches, they are piling up here over on the newsjunkie.com. We always want to hear what you have to say. If you'd like to yell at me, that's fine. We'll turn it into content. And round and round we go, like brain worms on the radio. But this is a thing I need to share with you in the meantime. The New York Times reports that some car manufacturers are now being highlighted for sharing driver's data with insurance companies, sometimes without their knowledge, prompting another round of concerns about privacy in the auto industry. If you have one of these cars, friends, several manufacturers, including General Motors, Honda, Kia, and Hyundai, allow drivers Whoa. with internet-connected vehicles. Sean. I have a Genesis, uh, unfortunately, for you folks, uh, not a Hyundai. They say they allow hey, drivers with saying it weird. internet-connected vehicles, Hyundai, like Sunday, uh, to opt into programs that monitor their driving. The car makers claim they have permission for drivers to collect the data, but the New York Times notes it's often through fine print that few read. And even when drivers knowingly opt into data collection, they don't always realize their data is being shared with a third party. So they're selling this data, and the insurance companies are getting it. And sometimes they get a little more overt about it. Like, Courtney has this thing. Oh, no, she doesn't have any more, thank God. The insurance that she used to have for her car insurance, she got some, like, deal. I don't even think it was that good of a deal. But she had to have their app and right. keep all the tracking info on so they could see if she was speeding or, like, you know, they could track where she was and where she was driving and how far she was going. And, like, listen, if uh, if it's a good deal, I mean, it's your choice whether or not you want to do that. It better be real good, though. Like, I think they were saying $25 off a month. What? No, you want to track me and follow me around and monitor my every move? I want like 75% off. I want I want to pay almost nothing because I'm giving you all this data. I mean, 300 and bucks a year off your insurance. That's not terrible. You want them tracking your every move for that? That's not enough for me, man. I, I don't like that. I don't want like an app no. tracking every single thing I do, like how fast I'm driving I mean, and stuff. Also, but it's still doing that there are so many apps like we're so beyond that uh, mm -hmm. there are some we have not opted in they just say you haven't opted out so right. now, we're still using it we uh, got your data it, when courtney had this app did she uh if she like was speeding a little bit too much for one month would they not give her the discount but then if she was good the next month she gets the discount back I don't know because we never ran into that. She drives like like I do, you know, relatively safe and by the rules and whatnot. Okay. But they might actually do that. I'm not sure. Nolan on YouTube says, you have a Genesis, you have a Hyundai. Uh, not true. Separate manufacturers, different uh, What company. year is your Genesis? Uh, 2018. Mm. Genesis G80. And somebody else says, Genesis is just an expensive Hyundai. Uh, it's really, really, really not true. Uh, Genesis is a luxury high-end vehicle, and it's a beautiful car. I love it. Uh, I should probably drive it every once in a while, though, because I've got some mold on my side view mirrors these days. Oh, oh my mold? gosh. Well, a little mold coming in there from the side view mirrors, and I got, like, just pollen every, like a pollen bath this car has taken. Oh, I got to get it out there. Uh, but um, that's neither here nor there. It's a Genesis. Uh, Tammy says, no, they are not separate. Yes, they are, Tammy. Oh, my God. You're not allowed to be so stupid. I'm sorry. Oh, they're they're separate that companies. Super rude. I don't care. I, why would I care? She's insulting they're very me. Very defensive. They're, they are definitely separate. They they're are separate related companies. in some way. One used to manufacture the other, and they spun them off. This happens just like uh, with Porsche. Porsche used to be made largely by I think, Volkswagen. Uh, Toyota used to make Lexus, and a lot of brands do that. But uh, still different, a little bit different. Some of you absolutely suffering from seventh degree brain rot in chat. I see it constantly oh, during the show. It's very, very commonplace that you will be over there and will be like, I think if you bust 100 IQ on chat, you're probably top 1% over there. Sorry, folks. I love you, but you just got to get better at this whole thing. Uh, all right, we got some dispatches. Let's see what we can work in here. Brian has something for C-Lane. Did you forget something yesterday, C-Lane? Because that's what this says. I forgot something? That's what it says. It says, what C-Lane forgot yesterday? But okay. I don't remember. Uh, this will be news to me, too. Let's hear C-Lane, all the talk yesterday about band shirts and everything. Mm -hmm. I was waiting for you to mention it because we listened to them more than any other band. 
It was 311 day. No, we did Come mention on, it. Man. Didn't we? Yeah, I said oh, Amber and, uh, instead of come Amber. Come hang out with us at the Brass Band at Universal. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, pop, pop. <laughs> See ya. Still trying to recruit you for that, huh? Uh, uh, no, 311, uh, we mentioned 311 Day for a different reason, I think. Yeah, I, I said Ember. Instead of Ember, Ember was the color of your energy, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah 311 Day uh, is fine. They, they're still out there. They're still doing their thing. I will tell you, I think, um, what's his name? Nick, who's the lead singer? Hexum. Nick, uh, Nick Hexum. I think he sold his soul to the devil. Why? Why? I think he did. Because he is now, he's older than me for sure. I would say late 40s, maybe even early 50s. He's 53. That, is he 53 years old? And each year, every time I see a photo of him like getting older, I'm like, that son of a bitch looks better this year than he did last year. Looks he's like jacked. Cher. He's like, he's jacked and he looks ridiculous. It's almost comical the way the guy looks. He's not aging at all. It's un unfair. But to the happy 311 day, uh, you know, yesterday, obviously. Uh, one more. Here's Linda McCartney with. Uh, huh. I'm sorry, <laughs> that would be something. Here's Square Square Slinger with a dispatch about Linda McCarthy. That's what we got going on here. Hey guys, insert round clip. Uh, Linda McCartney died in 1995 of breast cancer. Oh, did she, she? And Paul were still married at the time. Yeah. See you guys. Yeah, Paul McCartney was married to her. Then he was married to one legged lady. Sorry, one legged lady. That's all I know about you. And that now he's with somebody else. I forgot. I don't know who he's with at this Three point. Three legs. Uh, wow. What a turn that would be. If you, over the course of your life, were with somebody with one leg, somebody with two legs, and somebody with three legs, that's probably never been done before, right? I well, like there's a, like an internal bingo you're playing. Yeah, and I think it's a rare one is my point. Like, I think that that probably hasn't been done by many people. Like, if you live this human life, this human existence, where you had sex with a little person, Imagine that for a second. And you also had sex with like one of the world's tallest people. How many humans that have existed in all of eternity have ever done the thing that you've done? It's fairly impressive, I think, right? Like to be able to be there's in, in such small numbers of people who have done the same things as you. It's sure. almost worth it just to try. Uh, I don't know how many people out there have three legs, but good God, you know, see what you can find. Um, one more here. It's uh, Junka talking about the free gas lady who really made the most of that opportunity. Their pump not charging me for gas sounds like their problem, not mm. mine. That's free gas, and that's a win. And I'm gonna take that win because we eat the rich. Yeah, that's all. you know, I understand ah, ah, ah. the rationalizing. I understand the rationalizing, but I don't think that that works in court. I'm pretty sure that you couldn't go like, hey. Hey, your gas pump, you didn't charge me any money? Not my fault. Hey, they're not going to take you to court for that one time. No, but this they're going to take her back to court. Said for real time. $30,000 worth. I think with 500 and something times in $28,000 worth of gas. I mean, yeah. It, it, maybe there's like some legal argument to the, hey, the, the machine did it for me in demo mode. It just enters mm -hmm. demo mode and gives out free gas. I mean, I, you probably if you took this to court, you'd have to argue that you knew you were doing something wrong or they would have to argue that. But like there have been exploits in um, in, in like uh, card game machines like mm -hmm. in Vegas. Yes. A little bit different like uh, video poker stuff that will inadvertently like give you a bunch of money. At, 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 and they tried to shut people down and take the money back from them. And they're like, yo, they did not hack the system. They didn't do anything like illegal and they get to keep the money. It's up to you to have a system that operates uh, fairly. Yes, but I don't know that that's the same in terms of what's your expectation. You know what I mean? Like your expectation at the gas pump is always I put my money in. I get gas, I pay for gas. Your expectation at a slot machine in a casino would be different, right? Because like I sometimes put my you money do in win, and maybe I win. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I, I don't know. I think that might be a little different, but well, it would be in interesting eyes, to hear like an attorney argue that. In the eyes of the Nevada Gaming Commission, as long as you didn't like, you know, take a screwdriver or take some sort of, you know, hacking device and uh, manipulate the system in, in such a way. Then uh, it was fair, and you could keep your money.
Right. Yeah, I, we'll see that. But somebody try that, all right? Well, this person did try it. We'll see what happens in court, actually. We'll see with their attempt to do this how this all plays out. Okay, when we come back, we're going to get into jury duty. And there's some stuff you do not want to miss today, including they say uh, that 11% of high school seniors have been using something. 11% of high school seniors have been using something. Meth. That is very frightening. Very frightening. Maybe you've used it as well. Let's see. We'll all compare. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Someday, Alexa will do everything. Yeah. Alexa, can you take the dog for a walk? Ha, ha, ha. No way in hell. But until then, tell her to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. Playing Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. This is Katina Mobley. This is what's trending from iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Mercedes-Benz. Baker Mayfield is back with the Bucks. He bet on himself and paid off in a big way. This is the Baker we always wanted to see. Resilient. He's had his critics. I've been one. Doubters, highs and lows. But his self-awareness was always his downfall. But he made the right decision to stay in Tampa. Winnable division. He's matured. Kudos to Baker. I'm Colin Calvert. The boundlessly capable all-electric EQS SUV from Mercedes-Benz with available transparent hood technology. So advanced, it can see through sheet metal. The vehicle's all-electric. The feeling is all Mercedes. Learn more at MBUSA.com slash EQS dash SUV. Life is too short to let allergy and sinus issues hold you back. At Aspire Allergy and Sinus, we understand the impact these challenges can have on your life. Imagine a life free from constant sneezing, itchy eyes, and sinus headaches. Our expert team provides complex comprehensive allergy testing, and personalized treatment plans, ensuring your specific needs are addressed. Simple relief, better life at Aspire Allergy and Sinus. Visit AspireAllergy.com to schedule an appointment. AspireAllergy.com and tackle your allergies head on. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Life Imaging FLA. Man, I love this company. They've saved the lives of several of my friends and, and, and a lot of listeners. It really is cool. Did you know early detection of heart disease and cancer can be a game changer in terms of, of you know treatment outcomes? Of course you know that. Well, let's spread the word this month. Let's get proactive with our health care. And this month, I want to send at least 50 friends and family members to get that free heart scan. There's a few minimum requirements, but I'm telling you, it has saved the lives of listeners and also friends of mine. Let's spread the word, get that conversation going with your loved ones, and let's talk to them about early detection because it can definitely save lives. You can book your screening and scan now. It's Life Imaging FLA, free heart scan, a few minimum requirements, but this is a $699 value. You pick up your cell phone, you dial pound 250 and say the words free heart scan. Let's pick up the cell phone, dial pound 250, say the words free heart scan, and you'll be connected in seconds. And when you talk to them about that free heart scan, ask about cancer screening. My goodness, that's important. It's Life Imaging FLA. You'll have an option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from iHeartMedia. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. 
Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. McDonald's McCafe Ice Coffee wakes you up like the perfect song. The 100% Arabica beans get your head nodding. Yeah, then the cream drops like a smooth bass line. Uh-huh, add some ice to chill it down. And some French vanilla flavor. There you go. Or change it up and go with caramel. Either way, it's a stone-cold classic. Start your day with a $1.49 McCafe Ice Coffee available during breakfast hours only. Music to my ears. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. I can choose two faves and save big with a bundle of savory sausage McMuffin or flaky sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for $2.79. Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late-night snack perhaps, when I bundle a crispy McChicken or juicy McDouble with delicious small fries for only $3.69. Now my day is made the tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid with product served. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations like 24-7 Comedy. If they were really donut holes, the bag would be empty. When you need to laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. Should we call someone? I'm like, no, that's his face. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Fraudulent tax returns do identity theft in Increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the million-dollar protection package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Whenever you need us, just reach out and we'll be there with more locations, more experts, and more resources to deliver the health care you need to comfort you and make you feel your best. Find a care site near you at hcafloridahealthcare.com. The winners are in from our 2024 iHeart Podcast Award, presented by The Hartford, live at South by Southwest. Ladies and gentlemen, best comedy podcast. This is important. Best health and wellness podcast. On Purpose with Jay Shetty. Best sports podcast. Club Shay Shay. Best crime podcast. Crime Junkie. And podcast of the year, New Heights. Congratulations to all the winners we honor. Hear these 2024 iHeart Podcast Award winners anytime on the free iHeart Radio app. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Send him your tips and your deepest, darkest secrets. Email tips at the. this we'll talk about it in just a moment and we'll also do jury duty but first i found out how old i don't want to be all right and this story is what brought me there i think if i bring you there too but reading this story i'm like oh i don't want to be that old that's that it's not even an age thing it's a thing that goes on when you get that old and it is all about this woman who just celebrated her 101st birthday at walt disney world yeah. 
I can't write anything or I'll die. She says everything is good, and that's probably true. I think maybe save for, like, Pirates of the Caribbean. A no lot way. of rides would kill her. I yeah, think. I think um, the teacups would kill her. <laughs> the teacups would definitely kill her. There's too much movement. She's flying around, her brain's no way, jogging man. in there. That's not good. Splash Mountain, dead. Uh, Splash Space Mountain, Mountain dead. Arby. Yeah, Space Mountain, she's died. She's going to be a corpse when she comes back through. Like, it's not even going to be like after the ride she dies. Try she to think dies of everything on else, the ride. Man. This is quite a list. Most everything it kills you at, uh, at any of these parks. I do have to admit something. I was, I think, like yesterday or the day before, years old when I learned a little something. I didn't know that the place is not called Walt Disney World. I was not aware of that. I'm sorry. What do you mean? How do you I mean? didn't know that it's called the Magic Kingdom. Oh, and- oh no, the, Sean. The park is called Magic Kingdom. Yeah, I, I thought it was inside Disney World. Disney yeah, World, like yeah. Walt Disney World is like the collection of all the places, and then one of the places is Magic Kingdom. You didn't know that? No, I just called it Disney World. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I thought it was Disneyland over there, Disney World over here, and then we got the Magic so, Kingdom. And then Epcot, MGM, or Hollywood yeah. Studios now, uh, right, Animal I, Kingdom. And I thought all those were part of... Disney, Disney World. World in general, but that the one place was called Disney uh, World, yeah. if you could follow uh, that. Uh, I did not know that it was uh, all separated. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty sad and embarrassing, but here I am regardless. Uh, this woman at 101 years old, much older than me, and Frances Belco is her name. So here's why I don't want to be her age. Not even the fact that it's the number 101. She said, everything is good in Disney. You walk around, you see everything, and you have that nice parade, she said. Now, the reason why I don't want to be her age, listen to how her granddaughter talks about her, okay? The way her granddaughter talks about her, I'm like, oh, my God, you guys. You know she's alive, right? No. You know you know she's like a person, like a human being. Belco, her granddaughter, Kelly DeSalvo, and their family celebrated the major milestone themed after Disney's 101 Dalmatians. So for her 101st birthday, they did 101 Dalmatians uh, themed thing. Here's what the granddaughter said. It's pretty fun to not only have her for 101 years, but also that she could still hold conversations and talk. Oh, Jesus. She's excited about everything, they said. When you, as a grandchild, are like, isn't this wild? She still exists. And we're able to talk with this old lady. It's too old. The person's too old. Like, where? Mm. Where'd you say? <laughs> where? Where? They've become that thing you talk about when you're around them, but you you don't even acknowledge that they're alive. Like, grandma's still with you, you know? It, it, it's pretty fun to not only have her for 101 years, but she can still hold conversations and talk. Wow. Well, because they hear about the other old people who mm. are still physically there, but there's nothing going on. She rolled around Disney and enjoyed her 101st birthday in style, they said. All right, here we go. Oh, I got to talk about the high school thing. I'll do that as we start jury duty, even though it's unrelated. Here goes nothing. Let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention. Before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass, you're now on jury duty with the news junkie. Jury duty brought to you by the one, the only Mo DeWitt of the DeWitt Law Firm. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. That's 866-CALL-MO, 866-CALL-MO, or go to justcallmo.com. If you are around the downtown area, you can swing by, and they have a couple of tickets left for Just OK 8. They had to bolt out of there right after the show yesterday, and there was a handful left. So if you do want to swing by uh, Mo DeWitt's office, you can ask them, and they'll give you those final few that they have. Uh, we had a huge day of ticket sales yesterday. I was like, oh, okay, surprising. We, we had an event where Mo bought a bunch of tickets, and it was one of our biggest days of ticket sales. But that's because I think people are getting geared up. I think you're about ready to go. I think you're excited to see everything that's going to go down for Just OK 8. I think you're ready to party, and we are, I'm too. ready to party. Let's go, baby. So get those tickets if you're not around downtown Orlando swinging by Moe's office uh, at realradio.fm slash just okay. All right. Let's see here. 11% of high school seniors have reported that they admit to using Delta 8. Oh, yeah. That's the fake weed. 11% of high school seniors are reporting that they have used Delta 8. Smoke real weed, guys. A psychoactive cannabis substance, 
A top drug official is urging Americans to monitor the cannabis product teens are using and alert them to risks associated. I'm sorry, what? Uh, monitor the cannabis product the teens are using? Yeah, they want, to, they want them to look into this and investigate a little bit. And then I guess it's really bad. They're worried about Does this. Does there exist a person, like, a lot of times the, the, the necessity for fake weed came from not being able to get real weed but does mm-hmm. there exist a person who like you could give them a bag of really quality good marijuana your your your, your normal ass marijuana and they go nah nah something about that delta eight though just gets me better yeah there has to be i guess here's the product right here you can look at it in front of me and it's good you, you have it there in the studio yeah i'm taking it smoke right it, now smoke it smoke it no it's coming oh, it's coming Delta 8 gummies, this says, sold here uh, from Ease Delta 8. And I guess they said like 11%. So more than one out of 10 of these high school seniors have tried this stuff. And this is a persistent problem. I'm not sure why they haven't closed this ever-present loophole just yet. But I mean, they you- had an emergency rule in Florida, at least, and maybe outside of Florida, to get rid of the that gas station heroin we were talking yeah, about, right, right, and they're like, and the the emergency is is almost up, and they need they're like, hey, we need to figure out a more permanent way to keep people away from this because it's bad news. Well, see, and you know as well as I do what's going on here. What happens is these folks, usually in other countries, sometimes China, sometimes you know other places, they can create a a combination of uh, molecules that you know makes you high. Right. Yeah. So they like they create a new drug, essentially. Well, the one that made me sick. One, hopefully that won't. Uh, and one that will make you high, hopefully, is the goal. And this one is called Delta eight. Right. But it's not illegal because Delta eight isn't considered a drug in the United States of America. So then they would have to get together. Legislators would have to go. All right, let's make Delta eight this schedule and let's make it a drug and it's illegal and you can no longer sell it. So then Delta-8 people go back into the lab and they tweak one thing or two things and they come up with Delta-9 and they go, well, Delta-9 is not illegal. I don't know why they haven't fixed that loophole so that you can't just keep making up new things and go, this isn't a drug technically until they have to re, uh, you know, like revisit the laws and, and come back and, and make some new ones. But Delta-8, that's a lot. I mean, 11% of high schoolers, a senior level, have said that they have tried this and uh, they got their eyes on this product. It'll just be replaced by another one. That's what happens with all of them. Yay, California, a California lawmaker introduced bill to end daylight saving time. I'm still fine with it as of today, but in California, they're still a little upset. And Andrew Tate, the influencer and his brother have been detained once more in Romania, handed an arrest warrant issued by British authorities. They say Tate 37 and his brother Tristan Tate were deta- detained for 24 hours on allegations of sexual aggression, I don't even know what that means, in a U.K. case dating back to 2012 to 2015, what according to, to the other case? I haven't heard anything trial? else about that. They were really, really, really banking on these trials in Bucharest that were going to, they thought, lead to some jail time. But then there haven't been, like, any official charges, and there haven't been, that, that doesn't seem to have progressed. I don't know what their justice system looks like there. It's probably garbage. Uh, it's also garbage in the UK for the record, but uh, the allegations of sexual aggression is what they've got them on. We'll see what happens to the Tate brothers. Very big on Twitter and uh, with young, like fourteen-year-old boys and cells. Uh, is as big in the um, what do they call it? The red pill communities, mm. right? Uh, where they tell you like, here's how to get ladies. If you, you got to make yourself a high-value man, boys and girls. Well, Treat them like so. crap. you got to make yourself a high-value man. And you do that by making yourself somebody who is valuable in a partnership. Right? You get, like, a good job. Some of the things are, are good advice, honestly. Right? Some of it's good advice. But then it turns into just, like, drop ship everything and get a bunch of girls to do OnlyFans and take a portion of it. That's the That's the ultimate level of this, I think. All right, when we come back, somebody says they've found the fountain of youth. Yay! Big if true. Very good news for all of us, if true. So let's see what this guy's up to, and we'll get your dispatches. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. It's like a text message. 
with your voice. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's still a couple accidents to watch out for this afternoon. I-4 westbound's off-ramp to Maitland Boulevard is partially blocked on State Road 434 westbound between Winter Park Drive and U.S. 1792. Authorities are clearing up an accident there. And on I-4 this afternoon, you can expect your regular delays before U.S. 27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the traffic... This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Find your new career. The Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, March 13th at the Orlando Science Center. More info at FLJobsNow.com. For more information about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. With new doors by Renewal by Anderson, you can cut back on energy usage, boost your home's curb appeal, and increase your comfort. Renewal by Anderson makes that transition easy for you thanks to a selection of beautiful, functional replacement doors that are as beautiful as they are convenient. I love pretty French patio doors, but in so many cases, they seem flimsy and over time can warp, not to mention the security concerns that can come with them. Renewal by Anderson is better because every patio door is built with their exclusive Fibrex material, which is two times stronger than vinyl and features a five-point locking system, which improves energy efficiency and better yet, an increased level of security. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the month of March. Buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC15276. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. When I set out to build our firm, it was built for greatness. It was built for you. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients, to deliver more for you. Today, Morgan & Morgan has more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. If you or anyone in your family has been injured, call America's largest injury law firm. Call Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Have you ever considered a career opportunity in the skilled trades? Kalo Services will be hosting a job fair from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday, March 23rd in Claremont. You'll be able to learn more about our open positions, our team, and the benefits we offer. No prior experience in the trades is required. To register, please visit kalosflorida.com slash jobs or text or call 352-243-7099. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. 
Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait, I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we're conquering the unconquerable. Using artificial intelligence and data, our experts can create a personalized gene roadmap just for you. Customizing your cancer treatment, giving your body exactly what it needs to fight the disease. We're making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. They're best friends. Unless they're fighting. Are they fighting? It's- Sabrina Seelane, I'm going to mention something that you might get a scholarship for. And you tell me, like, if that makes sense. If you would be, like, okay with somebody getting a scholarship to go to college for doing that thing. Like, for example, like, academic performance. If you were really, really good on all the tests that you had to take, you had, like, a four-point-something GPA. And because of your academic performance, you got a scholarship. I would imagine both of you would think, well, that makes sense, right, to give a scholarship to a student like that. Of, of course. Uh, absolutely. I know many of people who got it. All uh, right. Not including me. Well, that makes sense because you go, if the person is successful, like you think they will be in the long run, then that person goes, I went to Purdue. And you know, it was good for Purdue. Right? Went to so Cornell. That, heard of it? Uh, right. It makes them sound the better in the end. Uh, what about this? Ding, ding. Somebody is in the school band and they are a standout performer uh, sure. desired by many schools. That person getting a scholarship. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I, that's fine with me. I imagine the scholarship is for them to continue banding it up for the college marching yep. band. Sure. Yeah. Isn't yeah. their valuable asset to that university and the university goes as a favor in return. We're going to let you go to our school for free. What about if somebody's on the football team? That's, I mean, that's the most common, I thought. Yeah, The obvious sure. one. Mm-hmm. Somebody's on the football team. They uh, take all their um, all their money from them, and they keep all the money, uh, but they do let the kids sometimes get a scholarship and go to the school. What about if you were a cornhole player? Oh, Scholarship. Let's <laughs> give it to them. So long uh, as they make six in a row. I don't know about this one. Is this? It's really like, a, yeah. is that a collegiate sport now? Yeah, I guess they do this on a collegiate level now. It's a pair of Colorado high school cornhole That's phenoms. Wild. They do beer pong collegiate league. 
They made history by or becoming the ball. first players to earn Division I college scholarships to play the popular backyard game. I think I would have thought of a uh, uh, collegiate-level pickleball before cornhole. This is something I didn't even know they were doing at colleges. Gavin what, colleges Hamon, have the Beer Olympics now? Jackson Remnick, they're both 17 years old. They're taking their bag-tossing talents to Winthrop University in South Carolina after the two picked up cornhole a few years ago. They say, I never thought this is where the cornhole would take me. I've come a long uh, way. This is awesome, he said. I'm shocked. I mean, as everybody is. It's crazy. It's groundbreaking. It's new. It's making history. They are getting college scholarships for playing cornhole. And that seems insane to me. You'd think but so. So uh, I back, guess they do it now at college. Back in my high school days, there were... And you'd have to do some digging and mm -hmm. proof, but you you really could get scholarships for just about anything. Yeah. It's just a matter of who you're reaching out to, who's backing this up. But they were like the most insane. I bet we can find a list somewhere, but it's like, do you have curly black hair? You could we get have a scholarship a, for us, that? And mind you, very small. You're not going all four years on curly black hair, but there were grants. There were, oh, oh there you're were, starting to sound like quote unquote uh, scholarships for it, but it was you're, there. You're starting to sound like the guy in the money suit. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, uh, Matthew Lesko. <laughs> we, we bring him up once every four years. He comes up on the show. Yeah, Matthew Lesko, who had the green suit you with all the dollar free dollars. money from the government now. <laughs> and I didn't know. Well, I mean, I knew obviously that scholarships existed, but I didn't know that they were playing cornhole at colleges and giving out scholarships for this now. Do you think that in 19, in, in like the mid, early to mid 80s, people thought this way about ping pong? Maybe. Do colleges play ping pong? Well, ping pong or table tennis has been a, an Olympic sport since 1988. Is cornhole? I don't believe it is yet, but I mean, I this is this is the road to cornhole being in the Olympics. Gosh, yeah. that sounds like even saying that out loud so sounds <laughs> preposterous. Yeah, but as we know, because when we go over the Olympic stuff, whenever Olympics comes around, and we'll have that before too long here, uh, Summer Olympics, I believe, coming up. When we do this, we learn each time that there's a bunch of sports in there that you are surprised by. And then they're adding new ones each year, whether it be like surfing or X Games related sports, you know, skateboarding stuff, cornhole. As somebody said earlier, I saw it on ESPN once. I kid you not. Cornhole's on ESPN a lot. Yeah. It's, it's Fourth on of July. July. Like after the um after the hot dog eating contest is done, it's straight up cornhole championships. Yeah, it's a bigger deal now. And they still have all these tournaments with much smaller prize pools than you would imagine, but it's wild how fast that has grown. And you guys both brought up pickleball. Pickleball has done the same thing over that course of time where people are trying to get in and like get teams and get into the pickleball leagues. And it's, it's a whole damn thing. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just praying this is true because a Florida man is claiming that he discovered the fountain of youth, which would be fantastic. I if thought true. They already Some discovered call him that. Ponce. Nope. No, no, no. Many legends of the fountain of youth being discovered over the years, but nobody actually found it. It was St. Augustine. I thought we paid like, 25 bucks to take a sip of it and it's Ooh. like black water they may have had you on that one yeah they may have said like uh we think this was once thought to be the fountain of youth but nothing that actually keeps you younger for eternity dr joseph deturi's story of spending 100 days underwater gained worldwide attention back in june when he resurfaced from the jewels undersea large in lodge in key largo he broke all former record attempts they said, now we're learning about the health benefits that came along with that study. The retired Navy diver and executive director of the International Board of Undersea Medicine said being underwater for so long was like being in a hyperbaric chamber. He told the folks of Florida's Fourth Estate podcast that being nestled about 30 feet under the lagoon for more than three months reversed the age of his DNA, he claims. Okay. He's... He said, I'm 56 now. My extrinsic, uh, my extrinsic age was 44. When I got out of the water, my extrinsic age was 34. This sounds so, like so much baloney and makes me want to curse on the radio. Well, he's saying like his actual DNA changed and elongated. He got younger. Oh, his when actual he was DNA changed. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. so yeah, above sure. water, he ages a day at a time. Cannonball. Mm -hmm. yes. But 30 feet below the lagoon, 
at Jules Undersea Lodge. That Jules with two U's? It's J U L, actually. Where, oh, or no, J U L E S. Jules, like uh, Jules Verne. Mm-hmm. At Jules Undersea Lodge, he reverses in age like a whole bunch faster than he would age forward. That's crazy to consider if it actually would work like that. But what it, if he stays down there for a year? Yeah, if, he a little baby? Like, if he stayed down there for 10 years, <laughs> just go, they, they bring him up and just a little infant crawls out. He'll on the be platform. the opposite of the girl from Poor Things because he'll be a baby <laughs> that's a genius. Oh, we have more science to do here, I think. He has more explain. science to do here. He says, on the end of your chromosome, you have these little extensions. And every time you replicate this, the telomere shrinks. It shrinks and shrinks and shrinks. Let's say you get one. My telomere is fine, all right? The water was cold. Well, his is real good. Let's say you get 1,000 replications. That's all you get. When the telomeres are gone, you have no more ability to replicate. That's called cell death. If you don't know, that's why you die. Uh, Cancer is when your cell replication gets an error in it. That's all that cancer is. Most people don't know that. You get an error in the replication of your cells, and it could be on one portion of your body, and then that keeps repeating over and over and over, and and just like a computer or something with an error in it, eventually it crashes, but you crash and you die. He's saying that you can only replicate these telomeres uh, so many times, but if you go underwater, you can actually extend your life. He said nine months later, his telomeres are still longer than they otherwise would be. He said he also had 17 times the number of stem cells as usual and a reduction in pain, which was associated with the fact that his inflammatory markers were reduced by 50%. So he yeah, said all was bad. well. You go I do not water believe him. He, he and just, you reverse an age. He just gave us like different words for flux capacitor. And it's like, oh. well, went viral. Now take a dip. What? No. What if there's science to what he's saying? Like, he's then saying give me other scientists. I think there is science Back on this already. We're just going from a podcast we've never heard from. No, 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 no. It's this. Uh, this is a guy. I remember the story coming up when he actually did this. But what he's saying is your DNA replicates, right? Which obviously is the case. But it only has the ability to replicate so many times. But his DNA is younger after coming out of the water than it was when he went in. And he believes that that reverses his age. Because otherwise, what is age, right? Age Whoa, is our- dude. Age is our way of monitoring how far we are in the life cycle of a human being by how many you know days, hours, minutes we've been alive. Mm-hmm. But we utilize that because we know that we're marching towards some sort of certain end. And if you could run that backwards, whoa, man. What'd you do? Problem is, no, I don't want to be underwater. You get, no, no. You're younger and uh-huh. uh, your DNA is younger, whatever the hell you just said, but... There was like, what's the side effect of it? And are you willing to deal with that for the rest of your now longer life? No, I don't want like to do it. Every time you with. sneeze, you poop a little bit. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't want that. I I wouldn't do it because I don't want to be underwater for like six months. That sucks. That's really it seems like a miserable way to I, exist. I have their website up for this underwater lot, undersea lodge is what they call it. Yeah, and the the accommodations are. Like, very cheap submarine it vibes. Oh, it doesn't look like it's a nice made machine? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is actual science, it, okay? It, it looks like uh, all those pictures we saw of the the Titan submersible mm-hmm. that went down to the Titanic. Except, well, that went fine, didn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. They did get smaller. There is a TV. Sure. So I don't know. I mean, no. they, do they just have? Do they just have a cable that goes thirty feet down yeah. into the lagoon? That... DVDs, man. You watch Friends over and over. And <laughs> I over could, and I, yeah, that and sucks. Over I couldn't deal with that. Mike on YouTube says, "Didn't Sean just rant about people believing BS stories? What this is actually true. There is science to what he's saying, but I think that what you would have to do is basically live your whole life underwater like this guy. And as we're all pointing out right now, that's not fun." That sucks. But this is more intense than being in a hyperbaric chamber. I would stay in one of these things if it were like a cool experience. Plus, it's not like I'm at, uh, like I'm in some sort of underwater base. You know what what I mean? It has to feel just like it feels on land. Yes. Like you need all of the creature comforts and you need to not feel like you're isolated and underwater like that. 
That is not a good time. Uh, all right, let's work in a couple of dispatches and see what you got on your mind. Some folks talking about that uh, Mike Tyson fight with one of the Paul brothers. Let's see what that tie-dye chick says. Hey, good day, everybody. So day. I personally think that the Paul brothers are kind of annoying, but that's their whole gimmick is to get on people's nerves and profit off of it, mm -hmm. which they've definitely succeeded at that. And for Jake Paul to get this fight rolling and get the contract signed, um, I think that's going to be pretty cool for him to be able to say that he fought Mike Tyson. I mean, what boxer wouldn't be proud to say that, even though I definitely think Mike Tyson is going to win. He's never stopped training, never stopped working out. That dude is a monster. Yeah. Have a great day, everybody. I don't think he's going to win. I don't think Mike Tyson is going to win. I think he'll lose. Mm. But for 50-something years old. Wait, you don't think Mike Tyson will win? No, I think Mike Tyson's going to lose. Oh. He's too old. I, I think the, the Paul brother is in his prime, basically. He's in his late 20s. He's in great shape. He's they're they're big guys. But they're, I want like what their size difference though. Same height, same I, no way, same weight. No, 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 no. I I don't see if we could find that like the matchup between the Paul brother and Mike Tyson, like height wise and physical and all that. matchup. Yeah, yeah, physical matchup between the two of them because obviously the age it's twenty seven versus fifty seven. I think so. That's huge. J huge. Is Jake or Logan? Jake. Jake yeah. is one hundred ninety nine point four in weight. Uh, we uh -huh. could really don't want to be 200, do we, Jake? <laughs> I do uh, that too, Jake. <laughs> um, and then height is six foot one. As far as Mike Tyson, although who knows? I mean, height 5'10", weight 220. Yeah, that, so that's not but too big of a difference, I, though. I don't know where this, you know, where this these figures are coming from because when was the last time Mike Tyson weighed in? Oh, mm -hmm. I'm sure when he trains when what? they announced something like that yeah but well, that, no no he hasn't fought in a while i think they said was yeah. it 2020 was the if, last time or if he's weighing himself when he trains that doesn't automatically update his wikipedia page unfortunately yeah well we'll see what happens with it but i think he's honestly gonna win i truly do uh hodby hodby i put some money on it yeah i put 50 bucks on the paul brother okay 50 on tyson all right, we got it then. Wait, we're just saying like overall they'll be declared the winner in some way, right? Correct. Okay. All right, you're on. Celine, do you want to? I mean, there's only two options. You she guys, always does always good get, luck in your bets. Left out on that. Good luck in your bets. Oh, fine. <laughs> she always makes the bet, and then it's like, Celine, what do you think? It's like I feel well. bad that he's not involved. <laughs> you could double down if he wants to bet on my side. Exactly. I, I'm good. All right, he's I'm, gonna back out. I'm just of gonna it. enjoy, you know, uh, rooting for. A great match. Oh, oh, hey. My nerd. Oh. Oh, here's Hot I just hope both teams have fun. Uh, Sean is incorrect. Sorry. Yeah, Sean, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. About what? Uh, Genesis is made by Hyundai. Uh, Genesis is Hyundai's luxury vehicle division. And while fairly okay. new, every new Genesis model is made by Hyundai. You people are so dumb. I failed to. I, I cannot believe that you're not simply trolling me, which is fine. We'll have fun. We'll do that. I can't believe that you're not simply trolling them. What do you like? Here's the way this works. It's uh, the car manufacturer is whatever they say it is. So it's Genesis, right? What is, is it made by a parent company that also makes Hyundai? Yes. The parent so company it, is called the Hyundai Motor Company. Yes, but that's true for all sorts of other cars. It makes Every it a car, Hyundai, though. No, it doesn't. It makes it another brand of vehicle that they have, which is called Genesis. Which is why you go to a Genesis dealership, uh, you get Genesis on all your paperwork, and my title says that I have a Genesis G80. But it's I know I get it. It's fun. It's fun to troll. But you know you have to at least secretly have a brain in there, right? There's got to be something in there. You people don't know it's how the cars insulting work. Insulting of the intelligence that just makes it seem like it's a little triggering for you. Well, for me yeah. or for them? Maybe for everybody. I mean, I think we all should just enjoy that we have four wheels that we can drive around every single day. Think no, about you guys have made this. You guys have made this into a little bit, and the audience is taking it and running with it, and they're like, <laughs> "Here's how it works. Here's how cars work." It's not really it's great. Awesome. Okay. All right. Uh, quick break. When we come back, we'll hear from more of you. Maybe somebody with a brain. I'm sure there's at least one in there. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And we'll also get an update going on what's happening with the Princess of Wales, uh, Kate, because we still don't know what's going on here. And there's a lot of weird, weird things that are happening. So we should at least focus on this for a second and see if we can keep up to date with that story 
put our finger on what's happening there. Uh, that is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Authorities are still working on clearing up that accident on Sand Lake Road eastbound approaching Orange Blossom Trail. The main focus this afternoon to watch out for is I-4. There's still delays eastbound before US-27 and after State Road 429. Around the perimeter of I-4, traffic is up to speed on 429 and it's mellow on the greenway. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Berman. Him. This report is sponsored by NextGuard Plus. NextGuard Plus, a Foxalon or Moxidectin and Pyrantal chewable tablets, is the one you want for your dog's monthly protection. Use with caution in dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. Ask your veterinarian about NextGuard Plus Chews today. International Diamond Center invites you to step into a world of elegance and luxury as we roll out the red carpet for the world's two largest bridal designers this weekend. Takori and Viraggio are here with their entire collections. Exceptional handcrafted rings made with intricate detail and craftsmanship. See the entire collection from Takori. Exquisite handcrafted rings from true artisans in California. And here from New York, see all the latest from Viraggio. Unique, distinctive, and personalized. Find the ring of your dreams and enjoy two years zero interest financing. Plus, at this event, when you buy any Takori or Viraggio ring, IDC will give you a $500 gift card. Buy the wedding band and get a thousand dollar gift card don't miss this spectacular event featuring the most exclusive designers in bridal and let idc's experts help you match up the most perfect diamond for the ring you'll fall in love with it's happening this friday through sunday exclusively at international diamond center all four orlando locations on approved credit hey let's get out of here with audible we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save earth from disaster Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Hey there, it's Russ Rollins. I'm talking to all the homeowners out there who are tired of staring at their cold swimming pools. It's time to stop wasting money on a pool that you can't use. With SolarSource, you can enjoy your pool year-round like I do. Top five things SolarSource customers do after solar heating their pools? Well, spend time with your family. Go nighttime swimming. You got uh, you got movie nights in the pool. You got water workouts and much more. Friends of mine, friends of Russ Rollins, can save big money when scheduling a free consultation today at SolarSource.com slash monsters. Don't wait any longer. Start enjoying your pool again with Solar Source. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jar Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need. 
sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like 24-7 comedy. Men don't settle down. We surrender. Women, we never express the emotions we're actually feeling, right? I'm fine means I'm about to stab you in the neck. Clips from today's top comedians and the greatest of all time. Donut hole. If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you eating the hole? When you need a laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Story time with the three best friends you never knew you had. Stories I really truly love is when there's a spill. I love a spill stories. Know. Every time that you you start it like that, I go, "He's here's a spill. Here comes a spill." Yeah. I love them, man. I love nothing more than a good spill story, C Lane. And it could be a a big truck on I ninety five. It could be um, a, a truck on I four. It could be a truck anywhere on any of the roads, on any of the interstates, on any of the streets in this great country of ours. If it spills stuff, uh, the weirder stuff it spills, the better. There was one time when there was a giant uh, dildo truck. I don't know if they called it a dildo truck, but at the time it happened to be full of those things. And it spilled them all over the street and stopped traffic for hours and hours and hours. And they had to go up there and get all of them off the street. And I think some of them were moving around and whatnot. I love it. I love it. And this one, because it's a visual, is up on See It Now for you. So you can check it out over at thenewsjunkie.com and see the visual. This was on I-5, the I-5 freeway. And it was a truck full of toilet paper. That spilled out all over the place. I tricked you into thinking I had it up in front of me. You didn't did, I? yeah. Uh, it was a truck full of toilet paper that caused a massive headache. Here you can see if you are watching on YouTube and Twitch, uh, the toilet paper that is all over the street here. <laughs> Just tons of them out in the road causing a huge headache, they said. And all the cops and everybody else had to go out there and try to grab these off the street they said there were thousands and thousands of them is this our first toilet paper spill i don't know i mean in the last few years for sure because yeah. we had uh, a lot of spillage i don't remember toilet paper being one of them because i feel like i may have mentioned this before but this toilet paper spill is almost like it's halfway to fruition of the joke in the movie Ready to Rumble with David Arquette. You remember that mm -hmm. movie? Where no, I do not. <laughs> what? You never just watched Ready to Rumble? <laughs> Ready to Rumble with David Arquette? Yeah. Man, this is, were, what, what in the straight to DVD is this? They were hardcore uh, slacker wrestling fans uh, devastated oh, by uh, the ousting of their favorite character. Okay, wasn't it wrestling or was it clowns or was it both that uh, David Arquette, like in recent years, 
got super invested in. Damn it. I don't remember. I think which, it was uh, Bozo. Like I, yeah. It might have it might have been he bought the rights to Bozo the Clown. Yeah. Maybe. But then ended up in wrestling for some reason. I mean, what? David Arquette. But he's a weird life. guy. His yeah, he's weird. And this, he's a strange dude. In this case, in the movie, there's a, a septic tank that, that uh, crashes and spills everywhere. And then the truck full of toilet paper crashes into that. And everybody's like, <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh. Who would, C Lane, who just out of curiosity would be the most excited about a toilet paper truck spill where the toilet paper just spilled all over? Sabrina. The um, anybody else? Oh, any, yeah. Any, uh, any other? I want to explain that first answer because he's looking for somebody else. Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, it could be Sabrina, but because why not? I'll take some free toilet paper too. I buy in bulk. But, thank I, you. This is what I'll, I'll give you as a clue. Anybody else who would be super interested mm. in the truck? Now, I can't pull my shirt over my head because oh, that would be. Oh, TBS. Uh, uh, do it again. Yeah. There we go. He has to take his headphones off. This is the whole I thing. Go, I had to go all the way around. Oh, God. I had to, to think. TB, TB. There's a road full of TB. Jackson, this is Sabrina, Aunt Sab, all right? And this Checking was your in. dad when you were just uh, four months old. <laughs> Run full of TV. It's now your 18th birthday. Uh, I'll put it in my bung hole. Oh, my God. <laughs> so bad. Put it in my bung hole. Real Radio. Uh, uh, FM slash Just Okay. Please yeah. Buy your tickets. Imagine that. Imagine that on a stage, folks. <laughs> wow. uh, Mark says, C Lane, that movie was an embarrassment, all caps, to the entire history of professional wrestling, and that is saying something. Yeah, but said. they mean they got some decent names. They got uh Goldberg in there. All right, yeah, I know him. Uh let's see. Martin Landau, he, his character was hilarious. Caroline Ray, uh Joe Pantoliano, I forgot he was in that movie. Oh, Di- yeah. DDP, Diamond Dallas Page. Yeah, these are all big names, actually. And then I think they got, weirdly enough, they got, who's the Ready to Rumble guy? Michael Buffer? Yeah. Let's get Ready to Rumble. Yeah. They got him in the movie because it's called Ready to Rumble, and then they had him on stage doing his line, and he didn't mm-hmm. say the let's get. He just, oh, he just said, he just says, like, ready to rumble. He, he just said, everybody, we are re-. And then I'm like. Did they only pay for three that. words? <laughs> they didn't get the whole thing. What, what's his brother say? He doesn't have Bruce, a let's give it. Ah, Bruce Buffer. We are prepared to joust. No, 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 no. That's not it. it uh, it's like. It's uh, something really short because we've talked about this before. And I remember. Get on. I remember being like really underwhelmed by the thing he says. Uh, I can't find it, though. He's, uh, keep it clean. I want to see a good fight, gentlemen. And. Here we go! So, something like that. Oh, uh, it's he provided an announcement. Time. Uh, it's time, maybe? It's, it's clobberant time? It's time to clob. Get her clob on. <laughs> uh, it's not far enough from our, too far from what Celine just said. Might be the official thing, actually. Uh, well, we each get okay. our own, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay. We are, um, oh, we got to talk about the Princess Kate thing. Let's do a, a quick overview on what's happening there. So to catch everybody up, we don't know what's happening with the Princess of Wales and everybody likes uh, the misinformation tornado that's circling around it. So why not play in it a little bit? The palace said that Kate Middleton is doing fine. She had some sort of surgery on her abdominal region and that they expect her to have a couple of months recovery from this. The speculation online was that she got a BBL, which is hilarious. And I hope she does come out with a big giant ass on the other side of this because that's probably the funniest outcome. But it's probably not that. Uh, Catherine, Princess of Wales, she signs all of her posts online with a C, which confuses people on behalf of the the Kate stuff. They're like, Kate Middleton, C. She says she takes her own pictures. She said that she was the one who Photoshopped this image, which the picture showed her without a ring on her finger, and her kids' hands were all like contorted, and there was some other stuff going on. And now there's another photo of her leaving Windsor from this vehicle, her in a car, grainy Bigfoot looking photo from 8 million miles away. And still all these questions exist after they had to do a kill notice on the original photograph of her and her family for Mother's Day. I I didn't even realize until this, that we have a different Mother's Day than the UK has. Mm -hmm. I didn't uh, know that that was the case. I think that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, they uh, they say that she's doing okay, but they keep being weird about all of this. So like, I really we'll don't think it's an AI. Like looking what, at the it, photo? Like, 
Yeah, they're like, well, look at the kid's hands. And I'm like, but his, his fingers are crossed. It's not like he has six fingers. No, and she's not saying that it's an AI. She was saying that she edited the photo. So she said, like, like Face many tuned. other photographers, I, you know, I'm, I experimented with making some edits to the photograph. It's weird that the edit would take your wedding ring off your finger. Right. Um, and it's weird that some of the other stuff would have happened. But all of it is only weird in, in, in the collection of it. It's not weird in isolation. Like, the photo by itself isn't that weird. But it's weird because of all the other things put together. The kill notice is the strangest part. Like The kill notice does not happen often no. from the Associated Press, Reuters, and all these big agencies. They don't do that unless there's a, like, if they really, really get worried about the image being out there and spreading further and wider. Uh, okay, we will take a quick break. When we come back, here's the rundown, folks. Hit it. Final dispatches. Got it. Nailed it. Stories that didn't make the cut. Nice. Mm -hmm. Today I learned to wrap everything up for a Share the Show Tuesday. All of that. that one. A buffet of goodness mm. is coming up next on the News Junkie. In four days, the News Junkies Just Okay 8, presented by Mills Air and JustCallMo.com, this Saturday at the Plaza Live. Get your tickets now at realradio.fm slash just okay. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Tuesday and we're in for another beautiful day across Central Florida. Temperatures will climb into the upper 70s and low 80s under a sunny sky. Clouds will increase a bit for our Wednesday with a few afternoon sprinkles and very light showers. Only a 20% chance of those. will warm into the mid 80s through the end of the week. A high of 88 for Saturday and 90 for Sunday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Healthcare. Sharp stomach pain? Advice is here. Consult a nurse. Answers, advice around the clock. Consult a nurse. HCA Florida Healthcare. We show up for you. Call 844 70 Nurse. It's free. Moms, we all wish there were two more of us just to get through the day. Preparing lunches, snacks, dinners. We've all got a lot on our plates. That's where Fresh from Florida comes in. They have hundreds of recipes that make mealtime quick, easy, and healthy. And shopping for locally grown produce is a snap. Just look for the Fresh from Florida logo. When it's almost dinner time and you have to be three places at once, go to the one place that counts. Freshfromflorida.com. There's sunshine in every bite. In St. Augustine, Ponte Vedra, it might feel like there's not enough time to take everything in. Because once you're done exploring 42 miles of pristine coast, marveling at historical architecture, and enjoying world-class food, It'll be time to check out and head home. But that's okay. You can always stay just one more day. Visit floridashistoriccoast.com to learn more. It's about time. A fifth third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. If you've ever considered a career in the skilled trades industry, but you don't know where to start, come visit the job fair at Kalos Services in Claremont on Saturday, March 23rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're hiring for several positions across all trades, including commercial and residential HVAC, electrical, plumbing, and more. We're offering on-the-spot interviews and provide on-the-job training, so no prior experience is required. To find out more, visit kalosflorida.com slash jobs or text or call 352-243-7099. Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are, iHeart Media can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more consumers in your target area than anyone else. And we can give you access to those potential customers more cost-effectively across radio, digital, podcasting, and social. We'd love to show you how iHeart Media can work for you. 
from your cell, dial pound 250 and say keyword great results. That's pound 250 and say great results. The following is a promotion of Guarantee Media and not iHeart Media or this station. Attention, our friends from Guarantee Media are giving away a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included for only $99 to the first 50 listeners to tell me the name of a country without the letter A in its name. You know it, a country that doesn't have the letter A on its name and you'll go on a cruise to the Caribbean. Text your answer to 96551 and you'll get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included. You heard right, be one of the first 50 to text the name of a country without the letter A in its name and you'll go on a five-day cruise. Text your answer to 96551. That's 96551. Be one of the first 50 listeners to tell me a country without the letter A in its name and get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals included for only $99. Text your answer to 96551. Text a country without the letter A in its name to 96551. This is not a contest. It is a paid advertising by Guarantee Media with the purpose of soliciting sales on vacation ownership and is not affiliated with iHeartMedia. Some terms and conditions apply. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navaj. Navaj offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navaj so you can breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navaj has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, it was from the first use I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navaj helps me clear the way, literally clear the way, for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navaj difference yourself. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navaj, N-A-V-A-G-E. NextGuard Plus, a Foxalon or Moxidectin and Pyrantal chewable tablets, is the one you want for your dog's monthly protection. Use with caution in dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. Ask your veterinarian about NextGuard Plus Chews today. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. High diving face first into the world's most viral newsroom. Didn't make the cut. And today we're going to wrap everything up for a Share the Show Tuesday, friends. And let me remind you. We are getting close. Mm -hmm. We are about four days away mm -hmm. from Just Okay 8. Remember when we said like 45? I know. Isn't that wild? Yeah, and remember when we were like, hey, it'll be nice not having the final quarter of the year be all annoying and have too much stuff going on? So we'll have the first quarter of the year. <laughs> we just moved it. <laughs> so we did. Yeah, we <laughs> ought to have, you know, um, it was chill. <laughs> December. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I think it's going to be fun. I think people are going to have a blast. We still have a bunch to do, but my wife somehow is convinced that I'm doing more to avoid parenting. <laughs> which, like, you don't know, I have, I, have, I have to go pick up some gear after the show today. I have to go get my hair cut. And uh -huh. then I think you and I, are, are we getting together tonight? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. And I, I know that as soon as I, like, leave the house, like, okay, got to go practice with Sean. I'm going to drive there. Goodbye, so she, son. So she knows I'm not just, like, you know, <laughs> screwing off. They say, look, if we don't practice the name of our family will be shamed forever forward <laughs> and Jackson will be upset Let's about this. Let's go back this. to that Bung Holio clip, please. <laughs> no, that was, that was a height of broadcasting today. I think, <laughs> uh, on the show. Uh, deep, deep. All right. So it's going to be a blast. And if you are, um, not with tickets yet, as they say, with tickets, you are either with tickets or without tickets, a VIP gone a long ass time ago, 
For everybody else, though, it's going to be a concert. It's a sideshow. It's a party. It's an event. It's a St. Patrick's Day experience with the News Junkie crew and a night you will never forget. We got the young tapes out there playing all your favorite Woo! songs. They're amazing. They got a brand new insane set this year. Uh, the Shabooms, a garage soul band that are so good. Really, really, really. They're the ones on you a great hear show. in the, uh, the uh, commercial that's playing. The commercial, now. right. Mm-hmm. Which turned out great. Um, yes, thanks, Dan. And speaking of the commercial, there will be a sloth out there. You're going to be able to take a picture Everyone's or, or like, do a I've video. I've never heard of the band Baby Sloth. And I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Baby Sloth. <laughs> do, 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 baby Sloth. <laughs> Uh, Savvy's Little Helper is Sabrina's band. Uh, there will be surprise wow. guests, stunts, DJ Digital, all that and more. It's uh, March 16th, just a handful of days away at Plaza Live this Saturday. And we want to see you there. So go grab your tickets while you can. Realradio.fm slash just okay. I've had a, bu- okay. a couple people ask me to play gigs on Sunday. Yeah. And I'm like, no, no, man. Not, uh, not uh, after just okay. No. And, and one of them... <laughs> Who I'll I'll leave their name out goes yeah goes well we could we could do something early then if you want wait wait wait, 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 wait earlier the whole point do you understand what's happening <laughs> earlier is worse uh, do they ask for I uh, for any band to be performing <laughs> yeah. there I don't uh, know no, no, they haven't <laughs> okay worst kept secret. <laughs> We did all of the dispatches, Yay. as C Lane said. He said before we went to break, only half of this would happen, and he's probably right about that. Story um, that didn't make the cut. Uh, what can we do here? Uh, in Haiti, the prime minister resigned after the barbecue guy told him to. Barbecue is now kind of in charge over in Haiti, and it's a wild scene over there. Uh, they're pushing to finally have the first elections in years and years, and definitely something we need to keep our eye on. So we'll do that as we move forward. And right now, it's time to get the hell out of here. Let's do just that. Let's do Today I Learned. The following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. Felt weird. So don't get cocky. Now it's Let's do just that. Today I Learned. learned. Strange, strange dismount today on the show, but we'll have to deal with it. But you landed in a split. That's nice. <laughs> Today I learned for a Tuesday, March twelfth. Hey, speaking of that, what I found this, I, I found this app, and uh, Courtney told me I couldn't do it, and I said it says a hundred days to a split. It, it says if Sean I use for this the love app, of God, I said, Courtney, if I do this in a hundred days, I'll be able to do a split. And she's like, it's for other people, it's not for you. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, what does that mean? It says Courtney, in a hundred days, I will days. pay you upwards of a thousand dollars if you get sneaky video of Sean trying. And then get into a split. Well, then I thought, like, You'll what be able is, to get back up, man? I, I thought, what is a split? Split's got to be wide ways, right? That's what I always picture. No, Not split like could be a foot in front of you and a foot behind you. Front back split. I don't know. That seems a little easier. Maybe I'm not gonna be able to do either one of them. It's, it's, it's <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of which would be easier to fall out of. Yeah, I uh, think if you do side to side, you could at least like tumble forward. But if you uh-huh. do front and back, and you're like doing like front a weird and back, I think is the go to for men because of the genitals. I would get sucked. I would think like didn't John Claude Van Damme? He would do the, the side to side one, mm-hmm. and he could do it between moving trucks and stuff. Anyhow, uh, let's get to it. <laughs> Today, I learned during the filming of one of this guy's music videos, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is correct. Spike Lee negotiated with a Brazilian drug lord to allow him to film Michael Jackson's 1996 music video, They Don't Care About Us, in a Rio de Janeiro slum. The drug kingpin replied with, with Michael Jackson here, this will be the safest place in the world. And uh, it was. I didn't even know that song had a music video. I don't think I've seen it. I don't know that I've watched it. That was the one that had the Jew thing in it. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were some people upset about some of the uh, lyrics in relation to Jewish stuff. I do recall that. Today, in the U.S. enacted permanent daylight savings times in 1973, daylight saving time. And it was repealed within a year because people got mad, but yet we still have it today. And today, learned this band right here. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's right. It is the well Red done. Hot Chili Peppers. Flea, the bass guitar player for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Keeps over 200,000 bees in his backyard. Ooh, flea bees. He calls them fleas bees. That's correct. And he is also the only member, along with Anthony Kiedis, to be on every single one of the band's albums, <laughs> including this one. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We're back tomorrow, same time, same place. Missed any of the show? Get the podcast at thenewsjunkie.com. We'll see you next time. Oh!